Oh, there it is. Okay. It's kind of weird. No, it's caught up. Okay. I don't I don't know what happened. I I've, I've been live for longer than this. I've been talking. I was saying how it was cold. Um <clears throat> then I was saying I was cold again. Basically how much it's cold. That's weird. Did you did the fan art policy change you mentioned only at the end of streams, right? <clears throat> we might still do it during break, but yesterday was not a part of the policy yesterday was I was too tired to stick around. I'm like hold, I'm holding on to this teeth because it's hot. Am I doing well now? Feeling better? I wasn't feeling bad yesterday, I was just tired. Just hadn't slept. I didn't fully fix it though, because I probably got up too late today, because I was so tired. But, yeah. Sip it. Do I have a blanket? No, I don't have a blanket down here. I'm wearing socks though, and I hate wearing socks. Fingerless gloves? No fingerless gloves, I'm not that cool. Oh, by the way, we have a, we have a subreddit now, if you want to go and post on subreddit. Um, I don't know if this is going to stay the, the, the official subreddit. I should probably message the guy who has it. It is, it is slash r slash Joseph Anderson. There we go. That's it. There aren't many posts yet. Okay, what am I doing? Why am I staring at this? I'm going to put links out. That's what I'm doing. So apologies again to anyone who uh, subbed or gave some bits yesterday. Uh, I wasn't reading out messages yesterday because I was I was too tired to stream, but I had to stay awake anyway. I think this the, the stream went okay, um, but um, I don't even know how I did that stream yesterday. I, I was I was falling asleep right before we started, and it just kind of it started, and I was like, okay, let's just let's just do it. It's kind of like pushing a drunk guy on stage and as soon as the curtain opens he he, he suddenly became sober is kind of like what happened yesterday but we'll see uh but i'll read some messages now mackie best girl don't even at me keep being you and i'll keep subscribing deal i was playing red dead redemption 2 yesterday and the and tried to rob a bar the guards beat me up and i woke up in a wagon with some blonde dude who was talking about an imperial ambush oh no Yo, I think you're the ultimate coin weeb. Kappa, kappa, kappa. 
I want to shout out for the VOD boys. Not watching because I don't want to spoil, but god luck and have fun. Every trial in this game drags a lot. Good luck, uh oh. Wow, nine months. Love the dying around for the gameplay, even if it is a little stale sometimes with the cases. Hope for it to get better. Mm. I don't know if it does if, if, if it does get any better than this. It seems better in this game than the other ones, so I don't like I don't like the car. I don't like the crazy taxi. I prefer um, logic dive. Possums lie by pretending to be dead. I just arrived. I wanted to know that you are what you thought of this trial. Oh, sorry. Um, the trial was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. It was okay. It had some problems. Some of its some parts of it were stupid bullshit. Um, I don't understand how the lid of something could be slid inside of it like it was. Um, I don't understand why she didn't just hold on to the rope and take herself across slowly instead of risking rope burn like if it went through her glove it's gonna hurt her hand too right so I, I don't understand all that but you know it's okay it wasn't terrible it wasn't great uh, get Mew's hot sweaty friendship fragments so you're no longer cold ooh ooh uh, Demi9770 Universe to say, Good day, Joe. Hope you're feeling better today. I haven't been able to catch many of these live due to me and my friends streaming Danganronpa 2 around the same time. What a coincidence. Oh shit. Oh shit. There might be a better stream for you guys if you want to go if you want to go catch that out with Demi97. Uh, Phantom Claus has resubscribed for 13 months. What does a mathematician do when they when they're constipated? They work it out with a pencil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ralazor has resubscribed for 12 months. Thank you very much, Ralazor. Welcome to the One Year Club. Apparently, it's that time of the month again. One year, that's crazy. Hope you're doing well and have a, have a great stream, Joe. Thank you very much, Ralazor. Thank you, thank you. Action Caterer has used some bits to say. Let me say, as a mathematician, I disapprove of the mathematician joke that you've either already read or about to read. As I use a pen, not a pencil. All oh, real mathematicians use pens, not pencils. That's true. That's true. Uh, N Hunter has gifted a sub to Nightbot. Ooh, 11 months for Nightbot. Thank you, N Hunter, for keeping keeping the meme, meme alive. Thank you, thank you, and and uh, another welcome to the resub club to Nightbot. Always here for us. Always. And last but not least, thank you, J Cell, for the 12 month resub. Welcome to the one year club, J Cell. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy the uh, the chat icon, and thank you so much. Okay, so let's just get into it because um, I, we've had two long intros lately on on the on the stream. So let's just get into it, and um, we'll do fan art during the break. We'll do fan art during the first break, and then fan art at the at the end of the stream. And let's 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 do that. Have I forgotten to do something? I can't remember. If you like these mysteries, I highly suggest watching the ant. What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. Watching the anime Detective School Q, it got it's got some very interesting mysteries, and most of them don't have weird anime bullshit, really. But it's still anime Detective School Q. I watched a little bit more of the of the Danganronpa three anime. I watched the Ultra Despair Girls episode as well. And um, if 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 Toko can kill a bunch of Monokumas with her scissors, then I don't understand how they kept her in that killing game. But okay. All right. So what's this? What you're seeing now is live footage of the sky from our camera at the scene. You can clearly see the meteors raining down. Mm. We are witnessing what looks like the end of the world. Mm. This is not a movie. I repeat, this is not a movie. This is live, unedited footage. Hmm. This is real. The sky is falling before our very eyes. Mm. We've just been notified that the government has officially declared a state of emergency. Subway stations have been opened as shelters. The government is instructing citizens to remain calm and evacuate to their nearest shelter. Children and invalids are to be given first priority. Transfer student from beyond the grave. Oh, great. Guess who's back? Back again. It was the day after the second class trial. We all headed to Maki's lab on the third floor of the school building. 
and awaiting us there was an unexpected sight. It's Leon. Come on, man. Well, what the heck is this? Mm. It's, it's like weapon warehouse. Right? See, I told you, she's not the ultimate child caregiver. She's the ultimate assassin. Mackie is the ultimate assassin. Is that all right? Kochiki, you learned that from the Moda video, right? Monokuma said everyone's ultimate talent at the beginning of their video. Ryuma knew Maki's true identity because he had her Moda video. And because you saw that, mm -hmm. hmm, I knew the whole time, given my position. I'd obviously know before any of you, right? Huh? Your position? Ah. Oh, don't worry about it. That was a lie. <laughs> anyway, her reaction yesterday pretty much gave away that she's the ultimate assassin. Okay, so why is, why is Kochiki trying to make us think that he's the mastermind? Cause he ain't. So why why is he trying to make us feel that? What's your end game, Koki Kiki? Kiki? Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now, but that's not your style. You would rather kill from the shadows, right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Damn, that's a weird last name. Hmm. But why ever did she lie about being the ultimate child caregiver? Because assassins hide to do all their killing. If people find out they're assassins, they get all cautious and they can't kill anyone. Can't be. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill us? All right, well, I, j just, just, just like fucking Toko never killing anyone, Maki is never killing anyone ever. All right, so she's never gonna commit a murder. So either someone's gonna kill her at some point or. Maki is making it to the end. Did she hide her real identity because she was planning to kill it? Who, who's this again? Hmm. But then, why hasn't she killed anyone yet? She has had many opportunities to do so. I'm disappointed. Jeez, robots can't even understand human feelings, let alone a girl's heart. How rude! Please take back what you just said. I can too understand fe human feelings. Listen closely. But I'm still in the process of collecting data. Please give me data, please. Right? If you're so worried, why don't you ask her? She's been holed up in her room all day. But I can't promise that she won't try to kill you like she tried to do to me. <laughs> Good thing everyone was there to stop her. But what about next time? Says so. Best let sleeping gods lie. <laughs> the talent of a killer. That is the biggest threat to all of us who wish to survive. Hey! Let's just lock her up somewhere so she can't kill anyone. <sighs> I'll leave that to you, Gonta. Huh? Huh? But but. Got it. I'll help too. I don't want another killing to happen. Wait! Ah, uh, wait. You don't have to take it that far. It's not like she's trying to kill us. Sneak attack! A sneak attack is the way to go. We have to strike before she before she does. Hit her from behind. Just like Kurumi did with Ryoma. And the room goes quiet. Oh, sorry. Hashtag too soon? Um... Sneak attack? Strike before she does? Shouldn't the Keto Master be saying those things? It'll be okay. If that's the case, then Atua will and I will work with everyone to uphold the peace. That's fine. If so, then I'll cheer you on. I'll use my magic to pull pom-poms out of my mouth. Wow! Wow, that kind of peppy cheer magic would make anyone excited. Don't worry about it. Hold on, guys. Leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. <sighs> ultimate, ultimate assassin, my ass. Always messing around. Huh? K Kaido, don't do anything stupid, okay. bro. Okay, let's leave everything to Kaido. You get it? Gonta, you should stand back. Nothing good ever happens when you try to help. Huh? Hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry. Come on, man. Hey, Gonta, l like I told you, a man shouldn't apologize so easy. Well, well. Oh, I don't need everyone's usual reactions. Time's a bit of a factor here. Mamonakuma! Stay back! Everyone, get behind Gonta. Himiko, get behind me. I'll surround you with my body to keep you safe. Quiet! I just said I don't need your usual reactions. You're it's annoying. almost halftime, so the stats should be out soon for everyone to obsess over. Now then. And since you guys overcame the class trial, I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. I said I figured I'd give you all a wonderful prize. Yay. Oh, oh. Huh? My adorable little cubs aren't coming? That's strange. Rise and shine your sign. 
so long. Farewell. Rise and shine, Ursine. Yay! They're finally here. Yay, you're so cute today. It's practically obscene. Seriously? Just wow, you guys are seriously cute. H have you always been this cute? <laughs> Ugh, the shock of my super cute kids seems to be making me go bald. Like in patches. What? He he's actually balding. Ugh, gross. Ah, I'm cold. Very cold. Hey, my cute little cubs. Could you hurry up and give them the prize? What what's what's happening here? It's too cold. I can't stand it. Hurry! I want to go somewhere warm. Huh? Oh, okay. Huh? What's wrong? Why aren't you backing me up? Father, we are not your slaves. We will not let you use us anymore. Huh? So then. For now on, I will be calling the shots. Huh? Good one, kids. Very funny. You can show me where the hidden cameras are now. That's old. Father, you're too old for this. You've been doing this so long, you've become predictable. It's the age of the monocubs now. Out with the old, in with the new. What? what? But what about all the longtime fans who... Anyway, you're just a has-been. Why don't you just retire somewhere and work on your tan? Has-been? Good job, you two. You memorized my script perfectly. Do, do you really think you can defy your dad? Do you think I'd forgive such... You were saying... Did you forget, Father? Only we can pilot the Exosols. What? Really? How could you forget that? Thank you, Father, but the Academy is under our harmonious control now. Step aside, Father. It, it can't be! This is dumb. No, 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 no way. Are you saying that treating you kids like my property was wrong? It's completely and utterly wrong. No, 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 no. No, 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 no way. Yeah, he's bald again. It seems the shock made him bald this time for good. Now then, as the new headmasters, we have we have for you bastards a wonderful prize. Oh, look, we're still going along with the plan. Uh, let's see what the prize is. This is when it's kind of really bad. It's it's not it's not dumb, you know, as in like this. It's it's stupid for the story. It's it's dumb that everyone seems to be going along with it. Like they're all like, oh no, Monaco! Like like come on. Let's see what the prize is this time. We're giving away a golden hammer, a magic key, and a ninja scroll as a prize bundle. Hmm. Wow. What a bunch of random junk! I mean, bravo! Bravo! We look forward to working with you. I hope we can all get along. Hmm? I had a feeling it was more junk. Oh, man. Oh, man. We didn't need more junk. We had way too much anyway. And its name is Kibo. That's robophobic. Now you've gone too far. Everyone, we can't allow this kind of intolerant language. Let's get along. No fighting. Everyone has to get along. Damn, Kibo mastermind. He's surprised to explode the new areas together. Actually, also, we've hit another flashback light somewhere too. I hope you all grow even closer now that you've regained more of your memories. So, so long. long. Farewell. Farewell. Hmm. Jeez, those cubs suck. Monokuma is way better. Damn it, I've got too much pride as a human to let those robots push me around. The world would be a better place if robots didn't exist. They should all be destroyed. I'll commit that to my memory bank. I've recorded your intolerant remarks and will report them to the proper authorities. Hey, so, so are what are we gonna do? If we use this junk, we can open up new places. But yay, a new area means we can all have lots more fun. Uh... I don't know if we'll have that much fun. Mm. I find myself more interested in the flashback light. Perhaps we'll recall the school's secret. Okay. If that's the case, then we'll deal with Murder Girl later. Listen up. Hey, bro, I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, all right? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, got it. Gonta protect you. If you find dangerous place, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. But. Nah. All that aside, what are we gonna do with that thing? Uh... 
Um, let's just leave him here. Ah, I suppose I should go try out these items around the school like last time. I'm not going to bother. Oh, bother. Weapon shelf. Is that a fucking chainsaw? There are a lot of different weapons here. Machinus, I handle all these. All these. What is this? There are three black cases lined up. Do they all have weapons inside? Hmm. Uh, is this table just floating in the air? Surely this is enough stuff to fight the Exosols. Whoa. I exclaimed in awe at the sheer number of guns lined up. They can't be real. No, of course they aren't real. They're airsoft well. guns. Uh, of course, Monokun wouldn't give us real weapons. There you go, they addressed it. Good. Exosols may be strong, but if we were to revolt with real guns, Monokun would never allow that. If these weapons were real, and if Kurumi were here, she might have taken us all out in order to escape. For her people. Yeah, her people. I mean, these look real to the left here. Is she a fake assassin? Fake assassin with fake guns? This is this is strange. Yo! I'll leave this to you again. Do a good job, uh, alright? Okay. Uh, well, I don't mind, but... Hmm. You don't mind, but what? No. no, it's just that when we were talking about Maki, you looked really upset. Ah. Well, yeah, I can't believe she's an assassin. Well, that's... I can't believe it either. She doesn't seem like the... she could be some terrifying assassin. Ah, <laughs> uh, terrifying, huh? Don't worry about Either way, leave Maki to me. I'll take down that mask of hers. Mask. Hmm. Real mathematicians use oversized blackboards and chalk. I've seen it on TV. <laughs> also, Kurumi was able to make a complicated ropeway to get across but not find, make a long enough uh, rod of sorts to reel in the floating thing in the middle of the pool unless they explain it. Yeah, they didn't, they, yeah, it's, the whole thing's pretty dumb. Like, it, it was such an elaborate, well thought out um, uh, murder. And then she just made some, some really dumb, stupid mistakes. And I feel like with, her ability and you know if, if you can think of something that complicated and you can pull it off I think that you would account for everything especially her if it was someone else then okay you know they're, they're they've barely scraped this idea together but yeah I, I don't I don't buy it uh, Miu Draco Miu Draco has gifted a sub to uh, Lear <clears throat> for two months thank you Miu Draco Miu Draco I don't know how I feel about Mew Draco. Two months for Lear. Two months. Uh, Timmy Timmy one two three one two five is gifted a sub to Lear as well. So that what? Huh? How is that one month before before the two month came in? That's weird. Did they come in at the same time and just glitched out in order? I don't know. I don't understand. But thank you, Timmy Timmy one two three one two five. Uh, angry, but I was using number six eight. Himiko voice for my next magic show. I'll make sushi sushi roll disappear. <laughs> and Hunter user number to say, all right, I now that we're all gathered here, two things. One, I was watching the Q and A, and I find the fact, and I find the fact that you call Lily Lily Bell adorable as fuck. <laughs> and two, shout out to chat for putting streamers while being first by telling you to go to sleep yesterday, even though it would mean no stream. <clears throat> yeah, I, 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 want, I wonder how most people would have reacted if there had just been no stream period, though, if, 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 if no one had showed up at all. Yeah, it's okay. I, ha I, I was going to be awake anyway. It's so cold down here, man. It's so cold. Let's just leave the heat on, see what that does to the place. 
Uh, Forlorn Winter has resubscribed for 10 months with a message Vote Joseph Anderson for King of Canada 2020. He'll make anime real and give maple syrup opi. Opi? What's opi? Opai is our tits. Oh no. Yay! A new, if a new area opens up, that means more fun for everyone. Atua and I will cooperate so everyone will have a super fun school life. Atua, is Atua sees everything, even what everyone truly desires. Huh? What everyone truly desires. Maybe. That's right, Atua is always watching over me. Yeah, <laughs> that's Atua for you. He's so divine. I feel like Auntie's getting more and more creepy. I agree. Super creepy. <sighs> Sigh, too much is happening all at once. It's just too much for me. Ryoma's case was a shock, but then to find out Kurumi ran the country and Maki's an assassin. <laughs> so fucking dumb. An average citizen like me can't keep up. I'm not sure the ultimate cosplayer can be considered average. But I'm glad I'm an average citizen. If I ever had a reason to live it, to live as strong as Kurumi's, or if I ever lost everything important to me like Ryoma did, if anything like that happened, I probably would have just cowered in a corner I somewhere, guess. putting aside whether Kurumi or Ryoma did was right or wrong. I think it's amazing they were even able to do anything at all. For people like them to die in this place, it's just not fair. This is this is no fucking way, man. We're being lied to. Um, Gonta, what's wrong? Oh. Oh, sorry, Gonta think he see bug. Uh, um, oh yeah, you said that before. Is it a bug that you can barely see? Mm. Yeah, Gonta feel like he can see it sometimes, but Gonta can barely see it. It's probably a mistake. Gonta. Cause Gonta wish there were bugs here, so Gonta just make mis just mistake dust for them. Oh, where the dust expert show us? Is that really the case? Would Gonta make that mistake more than once? Allow Gonta. Anyway, if you find dangerous area, come get Gonta. Gonta will protect you. I know he means well, but I am hesitant to ask him to be a shield. I like Gonta. He's sad when he dies. Humanity is every beautiful. Every part of every human being, even their ugly sides, is beautiful. There is no limit to beauty. Kurumi, she too, had her own exceptional beauty. Excellent. A crime that was bold yet calculated. A battle against the truth. Brutally killing others for her beliefs, unfeelingly sacrificing the few for the many, Wonderful. and her attachment to life and, her de her and determination to live. Her attempt to escape was so very ugly, it was pathetic, pitiful, wretched, but it was beautiful. I had never before seen such beauty in human being before. <laughs> I have no idea what Kyo is talking about. But in my own way, I also have Kurumi's last moments burn into my mind. Damn. It's a bit, it's a bit rude. Alright, the ninja scroll for sure. No? Oh, the golden hammer. Oh, the magic key, that's not gonna work. The door collapsed. It looks like we can get to the back now. What, I wonder, is beyond here? Perhaps someone awaits huh? us, you think? Kihihi, <laughs> merely a jest. Yes, this world is full of jests. A world full of jests, I suppose that's true. A staircase, we can get to the fourth floor now. Chat, what do you think of the idea that uh, that that if, if a Danganronpa game had the whole, er the whole area, so... If it was Danganronpa 2, it'd be all the islands. If it was, if it was Danganronpa 1 or 3, then the whole school just opened to you right from the start. So you never really knew when the next murder w where was going to happen. And you could explore it ahead of time. <clears throat> Do you think that would be better than unlocking? Because it's, there's something nice about every single time that you, you solve a case, you get more places to go. But I wonder what it'd be like if, you could, if, if the whole place was open right from the start. I wonder what that would do. I wonder what the upper floors are like. There's nothing dangerous, right? Or is there? It's okay. Don't worry, Gonta will protect you no matter what. Thank you. Thanks, Gonta. That's reassuring. A tuxedo and a mask would suit you. Oh, damn, Sailor um, Moon. Hmm, tuxedo is essential for gentlemen, but masks too? Well. I should go.
Ugh. The frightening atmosphere is so oppressive, I let out a shout without realizing uh, it. Um, what is going on in here? One. Two. Oh, Action. damn. This place's music beats theirs. So, um, this is a made-up story, but a brutal murder supposedly took place here. <laughs> stop it! Please stop. If I hear any scary stories, I wouldn't be able to go to the bathroom alone. Um. Oh, but she say it made up stories, so that mean it okay, right? So long. Bear so long. Well. Bear well. That's it? You just showed up for that? How many solid bear wells now? 22? 23? Okay, so I'm just checking, but this is a school, right? Okay. Yeah, at least that's what Monokuma said. This floor doesn't seem very schooly at all, though, does it? No. I'm not sure what you mean by Actually. that. I mean, this floor's atmosphere is completely different, like it's a whole other building. Uh... Making a building like this must have taken a lot of money and work. And all the research labs are amazing. How much money was put into the school? And it was all built just for right. us. They did mention that the labs were so we could develop our talent. You research your talent, perf perfect it. That's kind of like a school, isn't it? it? Can't be. Then Monokuma really wants us to be a school where ultimates gather. Hmm. Sorry, this. And yet, at the same time, they're trapping us here and making us kill each other. Damn. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. We were brought here and then forced to do the killing game. Uh... Um, I don't understand it at all. My plain mind has its limit. What on earth is this academy for gifted juveniles? Um, this area feels spooky. Gonta scared too. <laughs> it's okay. The murder story was just made up, mm. not just story. Gonta just have weird feeling. Maybe stain on that wall over there is blood. Yeah. It's just a stain. It's probably just staged, you know? Huh? Staged. Uh. Monokuma or the Monokubs probably just put it there to scare huh? us. Really? So the script has been flipped, huh? Uh, um. Sumigi does this kind of does this kind of stuff bother uh. you? Well, it's not that I'm okay with it. It's just when it's so overdone like this, it makes it seem fake, so I feel Actually. okay. But Ganta, you were so reliable until just now. I guess it's too early for you to wear a tuxedo and a mask. Huh? Eh? Oh no, but tuxedo is essential for gentlemen. What's stain? Stains everywhere. I like this music. So weird, what? I like it, that's so strange. Huh. Right room, center room, left room. Hmm. scroll what is this it's like a hang scroll but it's but it's blank okay artist room for ng and there's the monitor thing all right let's go back and look at them in order That's, that's Tenko's, um, uh, lab. Death by Doom has resubscribed for eight months with a message, even though a lot of people find it's just stupid, a certain part of the next trial is something I think is absolutely hilarious. Ooh, okay, I'm excited now. Thank you, Death by Doom, and thank you very much for the resub. I'm looking forward to it. 
if they gave the entire area to you at the beginning, they'd need to give some level of progression or reveal every time a new chapter started to replace what is currently the effective prize of new areas. Maybe. I don't know. Candles just barely light a dim, dusty room. Hmm. Do, 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 do. The, this is creepy, hard to see too. Huh? What'd I miss? Was there a ghost? Oh, uh, what kind of ghost? What kind of ghost was it? It seems like something that would appear in an occult manga. There's a tragic feeling here. It really does feel like something is going to pop out at you. Even though I said all that, it seems like something is, is going to jump out after all. This feels like one of those old abandoned asylums of lunatics or criminals. To the point that I'd half expect to see a corpse burst through a wall and chase Sorry. us. Sorry, that's not something to joke about. Oh damn, I hope it's Katie. I have another chance. Mm. Nothing here. What is this room for anyway? Oh, that's it. I'll investigate around a little more. Really? Because it didn't look like there was anything in here to... Oh, the candles? The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. Huh? <clears throat> oh, there's a ghost on the right. Oh, it's gone. To... There, there are no windows here. It get pitch black if candles go out. Ah, right? uh, please don't put them out. I don't really like the dark. Yeah. Alright, so this is where the murder's gonna happen. I can't imagine many people... I can't imagine many people do. For sure. For sure. The candles on the walls are the only light in the room. It's a monitor for communicating with. There's nothing on the screen, but just seeing it makes me feel sick. These floorboards feel a bit unstable. Oh, oh, this floorboard got no nails in it. Huh? Ah, really? Hmm. Yeah, floorboard just resting on top of cross piece. That's true. I suppose it's not just my magic. But... <laughs> that was a really, really poorly spoken line by me there. <clears throat> but each floorboard is thick and they got no gaps between them, so it look okay. Gone to not worry about falling through floor all of a sudden. But it's pretty dark here. It's a little hard to see where we're stepping. And in the corner, there's a hole in the floor, so it might not be good to go over there. Huh. There doesn't seem to be anything else to interest in there. I didn't mm. see a hole, but it doesn't look like there's anything important here. It's just an empty room. Oh! Oh, this not only empty room. You see three same-looking doors in hall, right? All those rooms empty, just like this one. And they only got candles for light, too. Mm. Ah, so there are three of them. Mm. Anyway... We know gone to worry. No reason we ever need to use empty room like this. Right. Except for murder, true. Uh. Then we can leave soon. The darkness and the shaky floor are making me nervous. It's only a matter of time before the shutters burst open and a newspaper gets blown well. in. <laughs> but there are no windows, though. I don't have any reason to waste my time in an empty room. Do, 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 do. Oh, <gasps> Monokuma ghost. I see. This is exactly like the other room. Why can't I click on that? There's writing there. Did you find a? Did you find a question mark? What? Why can't we read it? That looks like something we should be able to read. Did you find a? What? Horse A? It's really dim. It's so difficult to move around. But I can see a gap in the corner, so I should be careful. Okay, now I see it. I see it this time. I didn't see it last time. I think the horse, the horse A and horse B is leading up to the best horse of all, horse E. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I see this is exactly the other room. Okay. It's really devastating to loop around. Okay. Oh, another Monokuma ghost, or it's it's a mono it's a mono cub ghost, right? Okay, and there's nothing on the wall written in here that I missed last time. Okay. This must be a door to the ultimate lab. I wonder whose lab this is. Should look inside. Oh, I was wrong. It's Yusuke's room. It's almost like a museum or a library. It's huge and a little eerie. There are various objects stored in shelves and cases. Some of them seem very rare. <laughs> it would appear this is my lab. The ultimate anthropologist's lab. Wonderful. It's so wonderful. My face contorts with glee. Not even university labs are so well stocked. Damn, Yusuke's voice is probably the best voice for the, like the best match voice in a, in a while for that guy. But who brought, brought all this stuff here? I suppose there's no point thinking about it. Nothing in this place makes sense. Hmm. Almost like it's some bullshit simulation or something. I mean, I, I, I would like to say that they wouldn't do that again, but the bugs and... The fact that it's staying in Rompa, there's a book on this, in the display case. The bookcases were full of books, but I imagine this one is special. Hmm. This one looks like it was bound by hand. Could it be? Uh-oh. Can it truly be? Unlike his usual quiet self, Kyo shouted. Oh. Can I do shouting and Yusuke at the same time? Could it be? Could it be? <laughs> No, <laughs> as usual, despite self, Gio Shad ran over his alarmed expression. With steady, careful hands, he took the book from its showcase. It's Incredible. showtime. It, it is. How amazing. It's actually real. Um, Is that a... Is that... What is that book, Kyo? Uh, can this be... It is be? an extremely precious document. Do you understand? This book is a history of the fabled caged dog village said to have been destroyed long ago. Cage Dog Village? Yes. The Cage Dog Village had a reputation for using many dark arts and spells. The village was destroyed at the hands of a feudal lord who feared their power. But one girl, the lone survivor, risked her life and wrote to, sorry, to write this book. Wonderful. Which means this is all her handwriting. This book is an extremely precious one-of-a-kind relic that has been soaked in her bitter grudge. Hmm. Mm hmm. One of a kind. That is valuable. I see. Yes. On top of that, since this book has such a reputation, there are few copies. So, what? What well, was one? One of a kind. Since I was fortunate enough to obtain one of the, those copies, I have already memorized it. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> but I never thought I'd be able to lay eyes on the real one. What a trick of fate. Uh. Um. Okay, I understand now. Ah, Kyo, what did you mean by reputation? Yes. The rumor goes that the spells and dark arts inscribed in this book are extremely potent. However... They surpass the comprehension of people who live in a world of science and technology. It is said whoever reads the book dies seven days later unless they make someone else read the book. That is why it was buried in the darkness, along with the entire caged dog village. But it seems those were no mere rumors. I can feel power seeping out from this book. The deep-seated grudge of a girl whose village was destroyed permeates every letter. This is getting weird. I think I should just end the conversation. There's something in this case. It's a golden katana. How beautiful. Oh, damn. Look out, Siaka. It's rusted in places, but looks about a, a yard long and still sharp. Is that real gold? It's probably valuable. Kikiki. <laughs> you were drawn to that katana, I see. However, it is merely coated with gold leaf. Hmm. Ah, so it's not made of gold. Well, 
that said that katana has immense anthropological value. In certain rural, rural areas, I can never say that word, katanas used to defeat generals in wars are worshipped as gods. This is one such katana. It is an extremely precious relic necessary to spread. <laughs> Whoa, that's a super rad katana. I want to take a look-see. Pikachu suddenly popped up between us and grabbed the katana from the case. <laughs> Wait, you mustn't touch it without... Okay. Don't worry, I'll be super careful with it. Would I lie to you? Bing, 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 boom. Pikachu completely ignored Kyo's warning and unsheathed the sword. Hmm. Now this katana is the real deal. It's even gold-plated for that authentic look. Yeah. Hmm, I see. It could also be used as a murder weapon. Hold on. Pikachu, that is an extremely precious relic. Please do not treat it so lightly, or I'll tear out your nerves. I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Oh, okay, I get it. Please don't make such scary threats. Kochiki slid the sword back into its sheath and handed it back to Kyo. Whoa. Ew, my hands are all sticky. That gold plating flicks off so easily. But I guess that's what makes it an authentic katana. Oh dear. Yes, it is very old, so the gold leaf comes off easily. In any event, please do not touch things without permission. These are all precious relics. I'll tear out your if nerves. you do so again, I will tear out your nerves. Please don't. Uh, I get it. The scary threats really aren't necessary. So that's what Kyo sounds like. For it sounds like when he gets angry. Oh, we need permission. We don't need permission. We're all in Maki, Maki's fucking lab without permission. Ultimate hypocrite. Wonderful. This this is truly amazing. Not even university labs are so well stocked. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen Kyo get so mad. He's scary when he's mad. If he tore out my nerves, I think I might cry. Damn. Does that make you nervous? So many nerves. Okay, so there's um, dog statue. I feel like there should be like a, a hidden Monokuma in here. There's a large wooden dog statue on the pedestal. It looks pretty old. It has some kind of strange power to it. It makes me shiver just looking at it. Could it, it be? But that's... Mm. Incredible. Oh, can it be? I never could have dreamed that this truly existed. Kyo, quivering with excitement, reached out to that peculiar dog statue and slowly removed the white fabric on the pedestal. Uh, can this oh, be? Oh, there's even a cage. This is perfect. Uh, it's from the um... same village. Perfect for what? What are the statue and cage for? <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I would be able to touch the real thing in all my life. Today is a momentous day indeed. He's so focused that he's not even listening. Oh, uh, we're not going to explain what it is. I feel as though the only thing I've learned... The only thing I've learned is that I've learned nothing about this lab. Listen. By the way, Sushi, would you like to lend your ear to the voices of the dead? Huh? The what? Do you understand? The Cage Dog Village Documents contain many dark arts unique to that village. Of all of them, the one I find most interesting is a seance called The Caged Child. Yes. In fact, the wooden dog statue and iron cage over there are to be used in this very seance. Kihihi. <laughs> to discover it exists is surprising enough, but to actually have it before me. You see. So, would you like to try? Let us converse with the dead using The Caged Child, shall we? No. Nah, I'm out. Uh, no thanks, I don't have any interest in the occult. Mm. Now, now, you mustn't dismiss it as simply the occult. Some matters you refer to as the occult are of the utmost importance to anthropology. Dismissing things you don't understand as the occult is the, a defilement to all cultures, yes? No. No. Ah, uh, yes, but talking to the dead? Say. Haven't you ever wanted to speak with the dead? Huh? Huh? Speak with the dead. If it were possible, I suppose, I'd like to talk to her one more. No. No, no, I decline. Okay. Even if it were possible to speak with the dead, I don't have anything to say, not yet. The only thing I'd want to say is, we escaped, we finally got out of here. <laughs> Ki -hi -hi. that determination is beautiful. Perhaps you are correct. Calling on the dead out of curiosity would only be a blasphemy. Forgive me, I lost myself. One must call on them only at the appropriate time. I felt a shiver up my spine. Damn, I wonder, if, I wonder when Himiko dies uh, in this trial, if we're going to channel her back. And she's gonna tell us who the killer is with her magic. It's 
packed with books and scrolls. They're all weathered and old. That's true. I don't think I could read all of these if I had a million years. Back door and the other door. <laughs> Use it to ask Sayaka what 11037 means. Damn it, we can finally know. We'll finally know the answer. All right, what's what's this gonna open to? I thought we had a scroll. We had a ninja scroll, right? But it's not letting us use it. What makes me think that Himiko would die? Because she's the most useless, boring, plain, annoying character in the whole game, and she's she's had her her, her time now with with the magic show, so she's done. There's no reason for her to stick around. She's done. It's the door to an ultimate lab. From the look of it, I'd say it's for art. I should investigate a little. I grabbed the doorknob and turned it. Click, click. Hmm. Uh huh, it's locked. How boring. Yep, seems like it. I guess we can't go hmm. in. But why is it locked? The other ultimate labs weren't locked. Ah. Oh, by the way, this lab has some kind of rear entrance at the end of the hallway. I'm disappointed. But that was locked too. Uh, um, if both the doors are locked, how are we gonna get inside? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up just yet, because I have a secret technique. Click. As if on cue, we heard the metallic click of a lock opening, and the door slowly opened. Yeah! Yeah! Can I help you? Hmm. Angie, you were in there? Hey! In here? I feel weird chatting out here, so let's all go inside already, okay? How pushy. Come in, come in, please come in. I replied, Angie invited us into the lab anyway. How come your lab gets locked? This is bullshit. There are various art and carving tools. It makes sense for the ultimate artist's lab. Hmm. But why does this lab have locks? Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. He says this classroom is probably made for me. Huh? What does that mean? I will answer that with my sexy, beautiful voice. Ah. Wait a second. We said I was. We said I was going to answer that question. Eh? No, we didn't. Is your memory getting even worse, Monotaro? Ah. You promised, because I don't remember you not promising. That doesn't make any sense. I don't care. So what? Just let me do it. If you don't, I'll stick my hand up my butt, then shove it in your mouth and rattle your molars around. Ah. Yeah, that's unsanitary. Ah. Well, wait, Monadam. We weren't fighting. We were just messing around, you know, because we're friends. It's fine. It's fine, as long as you're getting along. So? So what's up with the key? Actually, oh yes, Angie's the kind of girl who can't focus on her art unless she's alone. Maybe. <clears throat> I must shout out, shut out all people and noises so that I can be one with the great Atua. Nyahaha, <laughs> <laughs> Atua is much too shy to be one with me in front of people. Hmm. Wow, like a porn star. What? Like a porn star, how it's the opposite. And then? So any room where I'm gonna make art needs to have a key, but what? And Maki doesn't need a room to, to lock, to, to plan her fucking assassinations? I'm surprised the Monarch Cubs knew that. Huh? Hmm. And these are all my favorite art supplies and sculpting tools too. How did you know? Um, um what should I say? I'm, I'm not a good improviser. Uh, Calm down, I'm even worse. We know everything about you bastards. We are all friends. Because we want to be your friends. I don't like that. <clears throat> I like Monadam. I don't want to be friends with you. I'm only interested in Monokuma. I don't want to get friendly with knockoff products. Why? Why would you say that? Why do you hate me? I cannot forgive that. I won't forgive anyone who refuses to get along with me. Mm. And now, Monadam, we haven't given them the key to this room, have we? Okay, here it is, but there's only one key, so don't lose it. Okay. What? It'd be bad if you lost it. You wouldn't be able to to lock the door or open it from the outside. Oh, okay. She locked it from the inside when she came in. So then, let me see that key. Madam swept the key from Mono Monophony, then lifted it into his mouth. Um, nom. Nom. <gasps> ah, he ate it. Gulp. 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 Ah. Ah, he swallowed it. Beep. 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 Pooping it out. <gasps> Ah, uh, he's flatlining. Uh oh. What are you doing? If you saw that key, you'll definitely choke on it. Someone might use this key for murder. Because keys are mysterious. 
If something bad happens, it would be too late. I want everyone to get along. Oh, Monodam, you're so reckless. Let's carry Monodam away for now. We'll carry him like a kind boss taking care of a drunk employee. So long. So long. Farewell. <clears throat> uh, Mori Dory has resubscribed for two months with a message. I never get to see you live because of schedules, but I'm so happy I can today. Oh, that's cool. Thank you, Mori Dory. Thank you for the message and thank you for the resub. Hope you like the stream. It's not going to be the most exciting stream, but it should be uh, not as worse as, as the one we had a couple streams ago where we just did gambling for about an hour. <clears throat> I'm hoping we get to see the murder today and then do the investigation and trial tomorrow. So does that mean we can't get the key? What the hell? Uh... But I'm only going to lock this door when I'm inside working, so I don't care if I can't open or close the door from the outside. Uh... Oh, I guess that's fine then. By the, way... By the way, those guys said they know everything about us, right? That's probably why the slap fits Angie's taste so well. So does that mean this school is specially made for us? But Monokuma has claimed it before, but is it? But is that really possible? This giant complex was built just for the 16 of us? Only Atua knows it's for a miraculous sure. mystery that only Atua knows, but it doesn't matter. As long as it's comfortable, I'm fine. Uh, yep. If our lives here become more enriched, then there's even less reason to leave this place. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Are we supposed to be okay with that? Hmm. So does, can we go under the floorboards and get into this room? Are they under these giant rolls of toilet paper? What is this heap of stuff? It doesn't look like wood or stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is wax for making ma wax sculptures. Mm. Uh, wax sculptures, huh? You can make those, Angie? Yep, yep. Unlike wood or stone, wax has a soft texture for sculpting. Oh. Uh, but Atua is the one who's going to be doing the sculpting. Okay. I see, but but. but but it seems like people have been making wax sculptures for a long time. In ancient times, death masks used to be made from wax. A wax, a wax death mask, that's kind of scary. Hmm, I wonder if you can make a wax sculpture of one of us, Angie, and then put it in one of those dark rooms and someone in and thought there was someone in there, and then it turns out that it wasn't, it was a wax sculpture, and they thought that it was real when they were looking in the dark, but it really wasn't. Okay, are we done? Ooh. I see, I see. There's an easel, brushes, and all kinds of art supplies wow. here. Sculpting tools, chisels, and a wooden hammer. What a divine collection of tools. These are all my favorites, so I can make do even if I don't have access to deep uh, sea. Um... Deep sea. Now that you mention it, I don't see... What? Now you mentioned it, I don't see any complete pieces in here. I would expect an art room to have sculptures and replica paintings and things like that. I, I don't need references when Atua is the one who creates the art. So divine! From now on, this place will be filled with my collaborations with Atua. Is that is that something that I don't know? Is is that a reference I don't know? Oh. Oh look, Suichi, the ceiling here is pretty unique. You're right. Oh yeah, exposed beams. Hmm. I wonder, just like a hipster likes. I wonder, is it exposed? Is it supposed to be like this, or did they just not finish it in time? Oh, man. Those cheap knockoffs are useless. Like that time they mixed up the cup with the uh... cups pads. I don't care. This kind of bare ceiling doesn't bother me. Atua Even a two says it's more sensitive when the skin's peeled back. <laughs> What 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 are these things? We're talking we're talking about the fucking exposed ceiling, but we're not talking about the fucking pressure tanks. What are those? Why well, she have three fucking hot water tanks up here? What the fuck is that? This door isn't the one we used to come in. Um, this door is super crappy. I'm guessing this is the rear entrance. See? Mm -hmm. See, it's got a sliding lock just slapped on here. If I remember correctly. All uh, right, and the door that we used. Yeah. Yeah, that door has a knob and a cylinder lock. Hmm, how specific. Hmm. The same classroom has two different kinds of locks for the doors. That's mildly infuriating. No, no. No, no, it's perfect that they're not the same. Symmetry is a Western beauty ideal. They like they like symmetry and the golden ratio and such. And but I think asymmetry and partition functions are more beautiful. <laughs> well, I don't really get it, but I suppose that makes sense. I can't stay long. I still haven't found the flashback light. I have other places to check. <laughs> <sighs> I, 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 
yeah, 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 fucking just leave, okay. Okay, um, I can't remember where the hammer goes. There was a statue that wanted a ninja scroll, right? Or something ninja e. Not as good as horse e, but ninja e. It's probably a hidden Monokuma I missed upstairs. I don't really care about them now. Now, now that I've lost, that I've missed a couple. I'm like, who gives a shit? Okay, where, where's the hammer going? Fake wall for the hammer or something. Damn, level 51. You're so good. Oh, the FOV. Why do you do this to me? What's over here? No. Fewer plants than before. Maintenance must be progressing well. I knew it. It's becoming more and more beautiful, just like me. Hmm. Damn, who are you quoting? Ah, uh, really? Huh. Oh, you just made Himiko angry. Someone like you wouldn't know this, but this is Himiko when she's mad. No, no I was just blushing. Huh? What? From your own compliment? But Himiko, your expression doesn't change much, so it's hard to tell what you're feeling. What a pain. Changing expressions is a pain. That's the only reason you don't do it. It was down here, wasn't it? It was weak last night. I meant it when I said I was sick of the killing game. But I'm ashamed I even suggested that we give up and stay here forever. We're gonna escape this place without resorting to killing. We can't give up. Okay. You're right, we can't give up. With Himiko by my side, I'll fight to carry on Katie and Karumi's wishes. Oh, yeah! Oh, and I guess Rantaro and Ryoma's wishes too. Might as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, those guys, yeah. Might as well. That's right! <clears throat> You should be grateful that I'm being nice and including degenerate wishes at all. Damn. Best, best case would be Him Himiko, Himiko kills Tenko. Because then uh, Tenko is dead and we get to go through Himiko's trial, which would just be just, it'd be so nice. Like, or, it, it'd be so fucking stupid, it'd be great. Best case, I hope it happens. And then they're, and then they're both gone. Welcome. Huh? A, a building. What kind of technology makes a building suddenly appear? Wow! Yeah, it's not just any building. It's a dojo. So it doesn't matter how it appeared. Right! Like, I wouldn't care if a chef came by car or a train as long as they made me good food. Is it really the same? It's magic. Uh, it's magic. This is my magic too. No. Uh no, I used an item on the statue. It's, magic. it's my magic. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Who who likes her? How can you possibly like her? Uh, a dojo. No school is complete without a dojo. Now let's go. Joe. Oh, Suichi, you can decline. I'd actually prefer it since you're degenerate and all. Wow. I know where I'm living from now on. It must be an ultimate research lab, and from the look of the building. Ah, it's the ultimate Aikido Master's lab, I'm sure of it. Well. 
All right, let's go inside. Don't be shy, Himiko. Ladies first. What a pain. Yeah, what a pain. Pushing Himiko along, Tenko stepped inside the building. That's true. I suppose I should check inside too. Whoa, this is a huge dojo. The tatami mats are new. Tatami? Am I saying that right? They smell nice. Scaffold suspended in the air with the chains. Is this for some kind of jump training? It's like a kung fu movie. What is this? It's a large doll made of wood. Ah, uh, wait. Is it a doll? Is this supposed to watch over us and protect us? Mat. The tummy mats are new. They smell nice. Oh, nice. There's no mana here. This is not my kind of place. Damn it! See, this is my new lab. See, this is my lab, you jerk. Why? Why are you so angry? Wow! I'm so happy. I just can't contain my emotions, like an un like an excited dog that just pees everywhere. An emotional roller coaster, the complete opposite of Himiko. That's amazing. Wow, this is such a nice dojo. I'm sure sparring will be incredible here. Yeah, it'd be so poetic if the if the opposites killed each other, but, but without a sparring partner. Assault, assault. Slam. Uh, what was that for? Ow, ow, ow. Why, why are you throwing me? Neo Aikido is a super serious martial art. Instead of training, we just fight head on. Now, Himiko, aim for the heart. Huh? You're going to start with that? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait. This is just kidding? Why did we go straight to, into actual fighting? Got it. You don't have a lot of confidence in yourself, do you, Suichi? Huh? What? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. lack self-esteem, and because of that, you doubt your strength. You seem more confident than before, but I can tell you still question yourself. Right. Well, I'm right, aren't I? I can tell when I, I can tell when my sparring partner is burdened by doubt. Uh, okay. You might be right. Listen, listen, Tenko. Okay. The first mystery I ever solved, it turns out that the guy who did the killing, you know, was right to do the killing and, and you know, just killed some abusive, you know, uh, some abusers and that I, that I shouldn't have bothered solving it. The second case I solved was my, was my best friend that was just trying to do what was best for everybody. And the third case I solved turned out to be the fucking prime minister of Japan and we doomed the whole country. So, of course I have fucking self-confidence issues. You, you know what works real good at lifting all that doubt? Neo Aikido. Because Aikido treats Aikido itself is a Japanese martial art that treasures a pure heart above all else. Himiko. So how about you, Himiko? Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah? right. If we combine your magic with my Neo Aikido, then we'd be able to solve things by force. By force, I thought this was about being pure of heart. Nah, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't want to do any exercise. It's too much of a... Oh, oh, just made an enemy for life. Killer Himiko, do it, killer, killer, yeah, yeah. yeah. Slam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, it seems you are still too shy to show your emotions, Himiko. What a waste! You have the richest heart of all. That's right. You should do Neo Aikido, Himiko. Training your body will help you express your emotions. Now, come sweat with me, and afterward we'll hit the showers together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my my back. I feel like turning you into a gross frog with my magic right now. Yeah, yeah. Embrace the hate. Embrace it. Let it flow through you. Kill it, Himiko. Kill her. Kill her, Himiko. Do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're angry. I can see it in your heart. Uh, okay. Even I can see that. Hey, oh, j just, just to be clear, because sometimes people take my comments way too seriously. 
Um, I really do hate these two, and I want them to die. No. Um, so I, the only reason I'm saying, yeah, kill her, and I hope you die, is because I know there's going to be a death. So if there's going to be a death, I might as well hope it's going to be the characters I like the least. Okay? That's why. I don't think any of these characters are, are bad enough to, 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 to warrant death. <clears throat> Except for Angie. But yeah. Hmm? What's that over there? <laughs> Come on, what's the big deal? I can't hold back any longer. But how? No, 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 it's too soon. I'm not ready for that. So I, good. I won't make things worse, and you'll probably feel a lot better. Just the tip is fine. <laughs> we can take this relationship to the next level, please. <laughs> But, but Mio, we shouldn't. Come with me. It'll be fine. Just come with me. We'll do it together. Pulling on Kibo's arm, Mio made her way to the Ultimate Inventors uh, Lab. Um, what was that? I feel like I just saw something I wasn't supposed to see. I should check to see what's going on just in case. Careful not to make a sound, I opened the door and peeked inside. I heard a strange sound. When I looked for the source of the sound, my eyes were met with an unbelievable sight. Man, you're really plugged up. You're practically throbbing. Throbbing with dust and debris, that is. Mm -mm. This is no good. No good at all. You must feel so pent up. I apologize. I've been neglecting my needs ever since I got here. <laughs> Relax. I'll get it all out. Trust me. You'll feel much better afterwards. Mia, why are you like this? Oh, um, thank you? Oh, yeah, your chassis is firm. Really firm. Like, damn. Your body is seriously incredible. I've never seen one like this. He's actually a be robot? Careful, be gentle. That tickles. That tickles. This is amazing. Whoever put you together definitely knew what they were doing. Really? He's really a robot? He, there's an actual robot guy riding here? Oh, I feel all tingly. You definitely know what you're doing, too. If you keep this up, I just might... <laughs> oh! <laughs> so that's the sound you make when I touch that spot. Good to know. I close the door without a word. Mia was just doing some maintenance on Kiba's body. That's all it was. Indeed, nothing but that. Let's see that again. Mia was doing some maintenance on Kiba's body and nothing else. Oh, okay. All right, where do we use the hammer? I feel like the hammer is used to, to break up some rocks or something. Uh, can we go to the can we go to the casino and see if there's any new items to buy? Mm -hmm. Mysterious objects. Okay. Anything around here? No. Let's check the map. See if it's on the map. What does it show up as on the map? I can't remember what it looks like. Well, 
line? Did I miss it? Sorry. Oh, it's just the exclamation mark. Okay, really? It's up there? What did we use to hammer on up there? We were just there. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't think it would be on the floor that we were already there. Well, let's fast travel up there either. Actually, should I just try? Let's just try. Yeah, it's not less fast travel. Why not be in school? It won't let us. Let's try it in the school. Maybe we have to go do the other one before that one. No, it's not letting us. All right, what about floor three? Uh, what's the closest one? The assassin one. Uh, let's save it as well, because it might crash. Am I going to stream the Game Awards like last year? Sure, why not? That was a fun stream. We'll do it. Should be able to, to stream E3 next year as well. Um, unless we're traveling again. I don't know why we would be, though. Ugh. Hey. What are you doing here? It's, it's, it's Mon Monokuma's redemption arc. It's it's begun. Monokuma stared at me in silence and disappeared down the hallway. Uh, um... I suppose he wants me to follow him. What could be down here? Monaco is glancing back and forth at me and the picture on the wall. Uh, um. mm, this picture? Huh? I see. It's not canvas. It's a pane of glass. Hmm. Really? Perhaps. Maybe I should use that item I haven't... The, the item I haven't used yet on this. All right. All right, it's worth a try. I held my hammer in my hand, faced the glass in front of me, and threw it as hard as I could. Suichi, you dumb. I knew it. Just as I thought, there's a hidden passageway here. Or a ropeway. I don't know what he's up to, but this did really help us out. Pass did it? The passageway looked different than the haunted house, more like a factory. Hmm. This is eerie in a different way. I wonder if Rantaro will have an ultimate lab here somewhere, even though he died early on. Katie had her lab already. Kurumi did as well. So did Ryoma. Hmm. Oh shit, it's an Xbox! Finally! You can play Red Dead 2 with the best settings. It's a giant machine. I've never seen this before. What could this? Rise and shine or sign. You bastards. If you come as far, that means you solve the painting puzzle. Wonderful. Excellent teamwork. Yeah? Huh? What teamwork? It's just Suichi. Because. That puzzle was too difficult for one person to solve. I'm sure they got along and solved it together. Let's just let's just play along. We'll put ourselves in danger if we defy him. It's true what they say. The serious ones are the scariest when they finally snap. I'm certain it's not possible. But did that, that but did that outdated piece of junk help you at all? So... Oh yes, we should explain this room. So this is the computer room. Computer room. Ah. But this computer isn't just some ordinary computer. This computer is the size of a room you're looking at. It's like super amazing. If I remember correctly, it's so amazing you can even use it to create a new world. A new world? Okay. Yeah, a new world. You can use this to create a new world. Wait, were we supposed to tell him that? I've already forgotten the plan. Uh, you totally said it way too much. Sorry. Said way too much, sorry. Wow, I knew it. Uh, You're so forgetful, Monotaro. You gotta try to remember what you can and can't say. Uh, sorry. Okay. 
Why didn't why didn't you help him, Monophony? Huh? When you realized he was saying too much, you could have helped him, right? So why didn't you? Your friends, right? Why didn't you help him? Uh, um, well, um, if you can't get along, you'll be punished. You two, Monotaro, friends share everything, even punishments. What? Backfire. So long. Farewell. Monodam's mean. This machine can make a new world. What are they talking about? But I'm not good with computers. I don't think I'd understand no matter how much I investigate. I'm going to check out World of Warcraft Classic. I was planning to, but I, I kind of feel like saying a big fuck it to Blizzard and just not bother when I can make for no one. For reasons that are probably too boring to get into uh, for the stream. Uh, Action Cater says, what if Angie was actually a pumpkin? What if Angie was actually a pumpkin? Uh, K3 Dantec has resubscribed for 12 months. Welcome to the one year club, Dantec. Good job, you made it past secret prime minister with minimal salt, I'm proud. Was it minimal salt? Maybe it's a good thing I was tired yesterday. I mean, it's, it's, it's all gonna be relative because there's no way there's gonna be anything worse than what happened in the first trial in this game. So I'm, 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 I'm good, I'm good. It's easy, it's easy sailing from here on up. Thank you, Dantec. Uh, Admiral Ion needs 100 bits to say, Remember Joe passed on some maintenance to watch anime, but he isn't a weeb, guys, I swear. <laughs> hey, it, it was work, all right? That anime was work. <laughs> Action Gator needs another 50 bits to say, Me as voice actor, so what's my scene today? Danganronpa Riders, so you're trying to seduce a robot and you're going to be fondling him for a while, voice actor. Okay then, calls agent. So how solid is my contract for this? <laughs> There's a, there's a giant green computer in the middle of the room. This machine can make a new world. What could that mean? With how little I know about computers, I don't think I stand a chance. I guess I have no choice but to leave it be for now. Maybe this is Rontaro's lab. Maybe he was the ultimate computer guy. Ah, a treasure chest. I open the chest eagerly and... I found one, a flashback light. With this, I can find out what this place is and why we're here. Are we sure it's a flashback light and it's not like memory implantation light? So you found the flashback light? Wow, you're pretty dependable despite that lame face of yours. I respect that. Because that, that would explain why Karumi just bought the Prime Minister thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'll get the others. You just bring that to the dining hall, Suichi. Okay. Well, off I go. See ya. But then again, it only worked on her. Mm, maybe not. He chatted away and I couldn't get a word in edgewise. He left waving goodbye. Would you like to leave? Oh, come on, it's gonna be fun to see you stream while classic. Yeah, it'd be fun for me to play it too, but I, I like Blizzard is, has, has gone from secretly taking advantage to the audience to now blatantly taking advantage of their audience. Like, Blizzard fans are usually quite critical of the games themselves, and they have a lot of feedback, and, and they're pretty pretty bad about it. Um, but when it comes to, to calling Blizzard uh, incompetent as a, as a business overall, that's pretty rare. Suichi, is it true that you found another flashback light? Okay. Yeah, it's true. I see. Wait, Kochiki wasn't lying. I'm stunned, startled, shocked. Thank goodness. See, I told you I wasn't lying. Good thing too, because I don't want my pants on fire. Actually... I want to start talking about what we're going to do, but Kaido isn't here yet. Ah. Maki's not here either. Ah. Um, oh, Maki's not coming. I didn't invite her. Huh? Huh? You didn't invite her? Forget about that killer. Hey, Miu, Keyboy, did you guys see the computer room on the fourth huh? floor? Computer room, you say? Go on. Hey. 
Yeah, there was a big computer on the fourth floor. Would you take Would you take a look later? You or Kibo might know something about it, right? My apologies. I'm sorry. I'm not very computer savvy. What? Oh, is that so? That's unexpected. <laughs> what do you mean? Why do I have to be computer savvy? Is it because I'm a robot, you robophobe? I have been meaning to ask, but Kibo, what is your talent exactly? Well... Well... I can do all sorts of things. Indeed. Oh yes, I'm pretty good at one-man comedy shows if I do say so myself. Don't worry. Keyboy's excitement existence is the only ultimate thing about him. Other than that, he's got no talent. Do not mock me. I just told you I'm good at one-man comedy shows. Mm. I don't really get it, but we just need to check out this computer room, right? <laughs> but I'm not gonna come f just for some computer. It's gonna take. It's gonna take way more than that. Uh. Um. Uh, well, the Monocubs did say it was amazing. No. Hey, thanks for waiting. Ah, Kakaido and huh? Mackie. Why is Mackie with you? Of course. Well, this is about the flashback light, right? So everyone should be here, yeah? I just added a right there. I'm not reading very well today, even worse than usual. But when you say everyone, do you truly need to include a professional killer? <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on, man. Wait, hold on a sec. Kaido gripped Mackie's arm before she could By leave. The way. Kaido, didn't you say you want to take down her mask or whatever? Yeah, I'm gonna take down her mask as a murderer. Huh? What? Hey, so I just can't believe a girl like her is capable of killing people in cold blood. Um. Um. Is it true? Are you really the ultimate assassin, Maki? Have you killed anyone before? Okay. Yes. Really? But. Why you hide that? <sighs> Isn't it obvious? It's so she could kill us all before we figured out her identity. That's wrong. You're wrong. It's because I knew you guys would react this way. Huh? What? Because when people learn my ultimate talent, they get the same fear in their eyes that you all have. Eventually, that fear will turn into hate. I mean, you literally kill people, so I, I feel like it's justified. And then someone will try to kill me because they're afraid I'll kill them first. That's that's not. What's the point? Whenever someone learns my real identity, they try to kill me. It happens every time, always, huh? uh, always. Mm. Hmm, you lived in a, you've lived a pretty sad life, Mackie. So oh, poor, poor Mackie. I feel so sorry for you. I think I'm about to cry. Oh, I Have see. you tried not killing people, Mackie? Because of everything you've been through, human life has no value to you now. Is that it? Jeez. She's an assassin, not some murderous fiend. Even if she did to kill someone, that doesn't mean she thinks it's okay to. <laughs> hey, can you let go of me now? Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh oh. Kaido finally let go of her arm, and Mackie let out a sigh. It's okay. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I kept it a secret and tried to avoid you guys as much as possible, oh, as much as I could. But someone who doesn't know how to mind his business kept dragging me places. Uh. Huh? You talking about well. me? However, I'll say this. I have no intention of killing any of you, unless one of you tries to kill me first. Damn. Ka Ka Kaido, Kaido and, and Maki, do you, do, you, do you know each other? Were you, were you linked at birth, maybe? Maki, were, were you born with assassin daggers in your hand at the, at the beginning? And, and you were linked with Kaido to make sure that he would become the ultimate astronaut and protect him from everything? Were you the one that, that knew how to get him, you know, an early entrance exam to the astronaut club? <sighs> Having said that, you probably won't believe me anyway. Then? So you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. <sighs> Maki, it started out as a threat, but the last bit seemed a little sad. You're so dumb. Jeez, Kaido, what were you thinking? Are you trying to turn us against each other? I think I speak for everyone when I say we're all disappointed in you, right, guys? No. No, I wouldn't say that, but. Tell me your thoughts. Shall we finally get started? We've all gathered here for the flashback life, yes? Hey, everyone! Yes, yeah, so, so, have we all decided what we're going to do? Sneak attack! Use it, of course. We might be able to remember something new. <sighs> like the true purpose of the ultimate hunt. No. Well, we don't know for sure if it's got anything to do with why we're trapped here. What was that? Don't give me that wishy-washy bullshit. Of course it's got something to do with why. Hey! Hey, instead of arguing, it'd be way faster to just use it, you know? You're right. Yeah, gone to worry, but we gotta do it. But, but... But, but, no matter what we remember, you can't think about wanting to leave this place. Come on, come if on! If you think like that, uh -oh. we'll just be repeating ourselves. You gotta be kidding me! I, I know that. And we can't go around repeating ourselves. We must do it. Let's give it a try. Sushi, go for it. Uh, um, I'm a little nervous. I'm sort of just plain nauseous. Does she, does she say plain in every single one of her fucking fucking lines? 
everyone turned their eyes to me and I flicked on the flashback light, which means it couldn't, it couldn't hit me because I was pointing at everyone else. And at that moment, once again, she does. Hmm, the word warped. Oh, damn the eyes. See, this doesn't look like flashback to me. My consciousness went white, and somewhere in that whiteness, a scene played. They were so young and talented. How could this happen? It looked like an accident. They were running away from that group. Was it really just an accident, though? I honestly can't believe that. What was that? A funeral? It was mine. It was everyone's here. Huh? Why was I at my own funeral? What? What? A funeral? You too, Suichi? I see. It would appear we all remembered the same thing. What the fuck's going on? But what the fuck does it mean? Why was I watching your guys' funeral? And why was I there too? How would you remember your own funeral? What the hell was going on? What was the funeral? Hmm. But the only thing I can remember is seeing that funeral. Nothing no else. Way. Maybe we already dead. <laughs> uh, no way. <laughs> Jeez, this is so stupid. I couldn't help but laugh. I mean, there's no way that was our memory of our funeral. Then, then what was it? I exactly. Mean... It was probably a memory of our school festival or something. What? what? School festival? Kaido, just when I thought you were going to finally say something smart. That's right. Yeah, it's probably a memory of a play we did for the school festival or something. I mean, isn't it obvious if you just think about it? Of course. If that funeral was real, there's no way we'd still be alive. <sighs> how about how would we have a memory of it? <laughs> That's true. Um... But aren't we all from different high schools? Why would we have a school festival together? Well, that's... That's, well, we'll probably remember something else about it later. Got it. Anyway, there's no way that funeral was real. real there's no mistaking that. Logical. You're right. If we think about it logically, that's clearly out of the question. Thank also, goodness. how does the flashback light work on me again? Because I'm a fucking robot. Oh, okay, good. Gone to think everyone was already dead. Don't worry about it. Stop saying stupid stuff. Look at me. I'm alive. Hail and hearty. <laughs> hearty? Because you get a heart on every time you see me? Oh, yeah. oh, I heard males can tell they're healthy by how hard they get in the morning. Is that true? Yep. What? Hey, so stay in your lane, bitch. Oh. I'm not good with other people's dirty jokes. I'm disappointed. Oh man, what a disappointment. Huh? A disappointment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. This this flashback light was a real letdown. We didn't find out anything about the ultimate hunt. Just some weird memory. Okay. Yeah, seriously, talk about disappointment. Nuh -uh. No, I'm not talking about the memory. I'm talking about you guys. Huh? What? It's a lie. No, no, it's nothing. I'm just lying again, so don't worry about it. I wish you wouldn't have said anything in the first place. But more importantly, the memory of the funeral we saw. It can't be a memory of a real funeral. You have to learn more about this. No matter how hard I think about it, I can't wrap my head around it. After the experience, we ate a meal in the dining hall and returned to our rooms. Ding dong. I feel like there's some kind of secret about that funeral, and I, I can't stop thinking about it. It's such, it's, but it's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. Well, that is them. That's all of them. And they look exactly like they do now.
why would the Prime Minister of Japan get just be buried with us instead of getting a proper funeral? It's hard to deduce anything from such a short scene. But I could ask Monokuma for a hint, but that would help, but... Hmm. I shouldn't waste my time trying to solve an unsolvable problem. I still have some time left today. Maybe I'll head out, clear my head. Okay, who are, we hang who are we hanging out with? Let's pick someone and try and finish them. Himika? I'm not hanging out with someone who's about to die. That's a waste of time. All right, we can we can hang out with co co with Pikachu. I want to I want to finish a girl. Maki is more interesting than me now. Maybe we'll hang out with Maki. Wasted fragments with Kurumi. Ka Kaido, Kaido is not as as interesting as I thought he was gonna be. I'm not happy with Kaido. He's kind of dumb. Um, let's go hang out with Mio. Did I miss her? No, there she is. She's in the computer room. You don't like Kato yet. Danny is Danny is a favorite. Dan Danny knows what Danny is. Kaido, Kaido's like, oh, time for big astronaut time, and and I and I'm gonna pull the group together and be a leader. And you tell you tell him sidekick. Like, no, da Danny knows what Danny is. You know. No, if I did die, my funeral would be way more awesome than that shitty memory. The whole country, no, the whole world would mourn my passing. Spend time together. Hey. You want to lose your virginity before you die? Ha <laughs> too bad, it's going to take more than that than what you're packing to satisfy me. I spent some time with Mia. This game has the worst girls. The worst girls. They killed off the best two right away. Worst girls. I somehow ended up growing a little closer with Mia. Give me a present, yep. Okay, what are we giving her? The, the the dildo again. Tentacle machine. Give her another one. What was that? What? I wanted this so bad. <laughs> Not bad, Perma Virgin. When you're planning on plan to slap some fliff between these big old titty Was that even English? Not bad, Perma Virgin. When are you planning to slip some fliff between these big old titties? The fuck is fliff? Well, if you can't, well, if you're tugging it to me every day, I guess I can let that slide. Sure. Oh, Suichi, you came to hear my secret, didn't you? You're the first person I've ever shared this with, so I might have some trouble saying it right. Me is acting strangely. This must be important. You know. I'll just be. I'll just tell you straight up. To be honest, I, I'm not a normal person. Yes, you're an ultimate. You look like a normal person to me. Oh, good. You're aware of it. <laughs> Well, that's what we're saying. <laughs> oh good, you're aware of it. Of course, I'm not so dense that I can't tell what, what makes me weird. Then why not do something to change? Because I need someone else to assure me that I really am weird. No. You really are weird. Seriously? How did you know? It's pretty clear. You can tell just by looking that I'm an augmented human. An augmented human? I didn't realize she was talking about something like that. Hey, out with it already. Sorry. No, no, I mean, I can't really tell. Huh? Huh? Then why the fuck did you even say that shit in the first place? You know. Anyway, you probably won't believe me, but back in the day, I used to be a boring, unremarkable girl with no talent at all. <sighs> One day, I got in an accident and ended up in a coma. Real life and death type shit. 
Anyway, after the surgery, I barely managed to regain consciousness. And ever since, I've been chock full of ideas for all kinds of inventions. I had, and I had the brain, skills, and physical talent to make those inventions a reality. But that's weird, isn't it? I mean, think about it. It's weird, right? Okay. Yeah, weird. So I've come to the conclusion that I am, in fact, an augmented human. Huh? An augmented human. Sure. That's right. The surgery augmented me somehow. That's how I survived the coma. Wait. Wait. No, that can't be the case. You're definitely human, Mew. Sure. Sure, I do normal human stuff like eat and take shits, but I mean, look at Kibo. If someone can make a robot that passes for human, then it wouldn't know. be weird if I was an augmented human. Haha, <laughs> this is amazing. Huh? Is this something to get excited about? Sure. Of course, superpowers are within my reach. Or should I say, literally within me? Yeah, that's it. I got the power inside me. We better start cutting me open. Wait. What? You would die. I'm an augmented human. It'll take more than disembowelment to kill me. Mew might be bizarre, but she's still human. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha I just gotta jam this baby into me. Mew brandished a wrench and swung it up into the air. Hey! Wait, stop! <laughs> huh? I frantically grabbed her hand to stop Wait. her. Wait! It doesn't matter if you're augmented or not, you're a living, breathing he breathing human being, Mew. So you can't hurt yourself like this. Suichi! What are you saying? How else can I satisfy my lust for research? No. I can't let you do this, Mew. <laughs> uh, well, why? Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. What? Stop it! But don't touch me! Uh. Uh, Mew. Yeah, we got Friendship Fragment. Yeah, we did it. Alright. Mew left in a hurry. I watched her go and I returned to my room. Hope she's okay. Hope she's not doing something stupid. Let's go again. Again, again, again. Let's go on the Mew roller coaster again. One more time. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 10 p.m. It's Betty by time for us, damn. Ma, damn, we, like beat the shit out of them. You bastards! You two should sleep together in one big bed. Ah. Oh, the three of us could all sleep in one big bed, right? Oh, 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 as close oh. as, as we are, not only could we sleep in one big bed, we could sleep in triple bunk beds. Yeah. Huh? But whoever's in the top bunk might fall out of bed and die. <laughs> Hug, I don't know if we're that close. Bed timer sign. Bed timer sign. Is fliff a thing, or did she just make that word up? I've never heard of fliff before. Never, ever, ever. Uh, thank you, Sotamu, for the three-month resub. With the message, yeah, boy, three months. Thank you, Sotamu. Whoops, what I hit? I hit a button by accident. Uh, Death Strawberry used to miss to say, How about a dang and rump at Battle Royale? A fusion between Dead by Daylight and, and Typical Class Trial when only two players remain, you would be given the choice to kill or escape using a carriage pulled by horses to a snowy mountain. The tile fades in. Fallout 76, Todd Howard embraces you and whispers, Starfield will be a complete mobile experience. Then he sings you a lullaby, Country Roads. The title fades in, and this time for sure, Skyrim appears. Todd Howard has done it again. That was a roller coaster as well. Holy shit. Holy shit, we haven't done it for a while because of the murder, but we're going to do it tonight, right? What, 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 what? Train with Kaido, okay. In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. The meme is evolving. So complicated. Did I see the fan art? No, we haven't looked at fan art yet. We're gonna look at fan art in 10 minutes. Oh, me, oh, my. oh sweet she. Where are you going? Well, uh, no one in particular. What about you, Angie? I... I was just talking to the others. Huh? Talking. Maybe. Since they can't hear to his voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh, I see. Adora. The two was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve the peace here. Nah, I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make sure this academy... This... To make sure this academy a paradise. Yeah, no wonder I fuck up some lines sometimes, because it's like, okay, what, what, do I have to add words? She'll work with everyone. I wonder what she means by that. Bayonara. Bayonara, Suichi. See you tomorrow. Okay, are you, are you crazy or, or, or manipulative? I have a bad feeling about this. Himiko's magic show was Angie's idea as well. What is she planning this time? Hmm. Was it okay? I added the sure. Okay, yeah, it was my fault, not 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 theirs, not theirs. I take it back. I take back what I said. I was wrong. 
It looks like Kaido isn't here yet. Then suddenly, that was my fault, not the games. Yo! Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Huh? Her? Oh, we're getting our Mac on. Huh? Mackie, why is Mackie here? Like I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. We're gonna we're gonna do push-ups. Someone kept buzzing my intercom, and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. You don't lock your door though, so he could have just came in. Then this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Idiot. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. If we're gonna train him, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training the three of us is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. This is stupid. I'm going back. <laughs> hey, you calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, train, then train some more. That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. All right. So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Oh, damn. I want to be super dog. Uh, um, of all the examples you could have picked. I'm right already. Did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going back. Hold up. Hey, hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know, even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. The same goes for both to both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. So act more like it. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't. So why are you being so difficult? Hey, so. How long are you going to run away? Huh? What? Kaido brought his face close to Mackie's. Oh, it's sad music time. Sad music. Hmm. Your mask is coming down. I could tell just by looking at you today. We're going to sing a song to make you open up. So you guys mind your business. I'll mind mine. And we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please just pretend I'm not even here. I mean... You're not the terrifying person the others think you are. You're just a coward. Hey, so... Hey, what's your enemy? What? Huh? My enemy. Jeez. You don't need to tell me what it is as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Seriously? Yeah, Come on. you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. That's right. But if you want to stand against it even a little, <laughs> I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Maki is getting angry. Kaido is just provoking her. Pretty intense expression there, Mackie. Is he going to be okay? He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. Hey! So what are you going to do? Kaito! Hey, Kaido. It's okay. You don't have to. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? Huh? You'll do it? Then? Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. The pout! The pout's here! Huh. It's all I need, huh? So you do get it. <sighs> the only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. What? You don't get it at all. <clears throat> Whatever, you just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Hey. Well, what are we doing first? All right, All right first 100 push-ups. Somehow Mackie ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. Not bad. Shuichi, you're getting better. Hey, Kaito. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. <laughs> I'm on fire today. I could easily do 50 push-ups. I thought we were doing 100. Hey, what about you, Maki? 100 might be too hard for you, so... She's already done. 91, 92, 93, 94... What? That fast? Satisfied. 100. I'm done. See the bait and switch they pulled there? See the bait and switch? It's like, oh, we're just gonna reuse this art. Damn. And then, boom, she was there. Mikey stood and brushed the dirt from her hands, totally composed. No. Y you're done already? What? You're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? <sighs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Well, that's. Before coming here, I did some warm ups. I already did 500 push ups, so. Kaido, that was the best lie you could come up with. Hey. Anyway, I'm done and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my Got room. It. Okay, we're doing train tomorrow too. You better be there. <laughs> Maki ignored Kaido and left without a word. Jeez. Jeez. Why she gotta be so difficult? Um, 
Hey, Kaido, why did you do all this to help her? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. <laughs> if someone's weak and suffering, there's no way you can just leave them. Uh, weak um... and suffering, Mac. Like, Ka Kaido, I keep thinking you have deeper reasons for the things that you're doing, and you just, like, are there? Is there any depth? Is there anything underneath this, Kaido? That's right. Well, in that sense, you're... Nah, your case is a little different. Huh? What do you mean? Shut up! Nothing. Anyway, let's just keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? <laughs> so are you. Huh? Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaido. Kaido ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. We agreed to just start over, and we were exhausted by the time we reached 100. Ah, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. <sighs> Kaido bringing Mackie, he really is crazy. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Mackie came in the first place. Kaido, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself and eventually I drifted to sleep. Monokuma Theater? Oh, Monodam Theater! What the fuck? Oh, it's the Matrix! Nice! Curious? Curious what we Mono Cubs, what we Mono Cubs do when you're not around? I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. When we hear words that sound perverted, we get really excited. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air conditioned room. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. See, we're all such good friends. We always, we're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. Do -do 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 -do. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. This is an official announcement. This is an emergency announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Let's get along. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. <laughs> oh, Monodam, you're really obsessed with this whole getting along thing. That's right. Friends is the only show he watches now. Do 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 do. See, they're they're acknowledging it. Nice. I will not if you don't get along, that. I won't forgive you. I will use the exocells to peel your faces off like Mandarin Origins. Oh, or Origins. <laughs> Origin. Uh, that's so gory. Please get along every. Ah, uh, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. They say anyone who sees Monophony's blue pu puke will have good luck. So long. So Farewell. long. Farewell. Assemble in the gym, huh? I have a bad feeling about this. Damn. But first, we're gonna take a break with this. With this. Relaxing music. All right, so when we come back, we'll do fan art. So if you have fan art, please get get the get it ready. Or uh, if a bunch of people want to get it all in a line, and then I'll put on I'll put on the screen. But yeah, we're gonna take a break. So go brush your teeth, go get a drink, or not, whatever you want to do. Anyway, I'll be back in five minutes.
It's a bit warmer down here now, that's good. Oh, that's a lot of fan, fan art. Fifteen, I think. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? All right. Sorry, I'm saving them all so I put them on the screen. One second. Oh, this one's for something that just happened. Oh wow, okay, you, you guys really like that scene. Okay, this is the scariest fan art we've ever had. Nope, there's more, I missed some. It 
It's the fan art stream. Hajime? All right, here we go. First one. Uh, let's let let let's start off with uh, with with what's gonna be a, a favorite because everyone just just love just loves this guy. Here we go. Bum ba da bum 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 bum. <laughs> oh shit. Have uh, w Wuggy turned Ryoma into Daredevil. He has the iron balls on his belt. Good touch. You failed this city. That's no, that's Arrow, isn't it? Doesn't Arrow say that? You failed this city. What does Daredevil say? This is my city. I can't remember what he says. Okay, so here we have uh, here we have a uh, lucid streamer who is uh, who is ocelot, and Twitch Trat is sneaking up behind him. Boom! One one zero three seven coming for you, lucid. Watch out! Watch out! Oh, the Leon meme. Here we have Hifumi uh, drawing uh, Tady the Hedgehog, OC Don't Steal. Box of tissues there, nose bleeding over his own artwork. Uh, I wish I didn't understand this reference, but unfortunately I do. I do understand this reference. Yep. I'm sorry I know that. I'm sorry, I know that. Okay, uh, now we have these two that have to go together one after the other. So there's this. Joe can't be a wee because he's had sex at least three times. That's Kochiki's argument. And then the counter. We've never actually seen Finn or Leo. What if Joe mastered faking a faking baby voices to prove he had sex? <laughs> I'm actually hearing that in 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 that non-stop debate type right thing, and it, it's actually pretty good. All right, so here's here's the first of three of from this scene. There's there's Twitch chat fawning over uh, 11037. <sighs> oh no, and then we have You you definitely know what you're doing too. If you keep this up, I just might Whoa whoa I feel like I know this. What's that from? What's that from? Shit. I feel like I know what that's from. And uh, then we have this one. I'm the Miu now. You're a coin. You're a coin and I want you. You're a coin. You love the coins, man. Is it Terminator? That's what I was guessing too in my head, but I didn't want to say just in case I was way off. Is it Terminator? Yeah. Give me the coin. Give me the coin. Uh, I started showing these out of order now. Hold on. Yeah. Your paper attracting spell has worked. 
Wait, what? The scroll of truth. I fi- fi- What the fuck? I finally- did what I I don't understand. I don't I don't understand. This this is out of order, isn't it? It's in reverse. Is it nah? She the paper attracting spells work, so she's pulling it back out of the water. And it says it worked, and she's like, the skull of truth, look, it is my magic. And then she's putting it back in, and after I've I finally d d done it. It's, it's, it's meta, it's meta. I get it now, I get it now, sorry, I get it now. This is why, H Himiko, you know? Just, just, n not, not even in memes, not even in memes. Okay. Kyoko, nah, nah. Kyoko, nah. But you know, gr grown up Kyoko, you know, suddenly she's not so bad in the anime. Himiko, Himiko, next best girl with the pickle Nagito finger. Come on, come on. Hey, we 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 have reasons for making her next best girl. Okay, we have reasons. It's strategy. We want her gone. We want her gone, chat. Joseph Anderson, YouTube critic, versus Stream Joe, anime hat, panties on, uh, sleepy eyes, both on the same side. That that, that makes sense. Uh, Chiaki body pillow. That actually looks like a like a pretty pretty good quality picture there on that pillow. Eat, sleep, anime, repeat. Does that mug actually exist? It does, doesn't it? It does. Of course it does. Why am I even asking? Okay, uh, I think that's all of them except for a specific kind, and we can get into that now. Now we enter the uh, the pickle Nagito block, starting with this one. You see, chat, Himiko is just a stepping stone to hope. If we can make her the best girl and endure through that ultimate despair, she will die in the next trial, and we can all achieve ultimate hope. <clears throat> this is not the creepiest fan art we've ever gotten. This is not it. It's close, but this is not it. That one's next. Here we go. Here we are. This is the creepiest fan art we've ever gotten in three, two, one. X on. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's the, that's the the creepiest one. Um. <clears throat> oh wow, this one's huge. So we have good with uh, pick pickle Nagito's Vlasic kosher dill holes. That's good and bad. Great value. Cause he's he's just diet diet Nagito. Oh Pikachu. He, there's never there's never gonna be a good pickle pickle Pikachu. Let me tell you. Do do do. And I think there's only one more. Let me see. Did that one? 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 Yeah, this is the last one I have. Do you guys love Pickle Nagito so much? I don't understand. Why do I love it so much? I don't get it. Okay, so if there's any more that I missed, please link them in chat and I'll put them on screen. <laughs> it's like he's a fucking ninja turtle. Uh
It's a cruel cumber. Damn. Damn, that's really good. Alright, I have two more. Are there any more? Last call, three, two, one. Put him in the corner of the screen for the next like what just just like he's just chilling out down here for the rest of the stream? No. No, we're not doing that. Come on. So no, no more fan art for, for this for this round. If, if I missed it, that's that's it done. So I have three to show. Okay, so uh, first one is this leaves us with one suspect. It can only be you. <laughs> uh oh, wait! I know this. I know this. This show looks familiar. At first I thought it was Spongebob, but it's not. Isn't isn't this like a, a, a newer show? This is the one suspect. It can only be you. Oh. Oh, Katie. I feel like I've seen this show somewhere. Himiko, literally a garbage, literally garbage. Okay, you know what? This this is slam dunk on the Himiko fan. She's holding a pickle Nagito. I didn't see that before. Oh, for fuck's sake! For fuck's sake! Okay, I now I, I hereby decree that every piece of fan art from here on out has to have a hidden pickle Nagito in it. Has to be there. Okay, here's the slam dunk on on Himiko fans. Her voice still fits this character. I got my magic turned me into a garbage can. Oh no. It's a pain. It still fits the character. Yeah, I hereby decree every fan art needs needs a, a hidden uh, hidden pickle Nagito. Alright, and last is There he is. He makes me sick just looking at him. That ugly hoodie, those ahogies, that dumb talent, and all that hope bullshit. Ahem. But it looks good on you, Makoto. <laughs> hey, Owie. Hey, Owie. A, ho a hoagie sounds like something that, you know, you, you order as an appetizer at a restaurant. Yeah, can I have a side of garlic a hoagies, please? Just, 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 uh, just as a start. I hear your uh, hoagies are really good here. Okay, thank you to, let's see. Uh, Tiger Uppercut 1226 has used 100 bits to say, uh, just wanted to say great streams, Joe. Hope you are feeling better. I have to say, Thaw? Uh, that while I love Danganronpa to death, I hate that they made both lesbian characters in 2 and V3, Mahiro and Tenko, giant misandrist for no reason but a gag. Is Was Mahiro a lesbian? I didn't know that. Tenko is not completely confirmed lesbian or she's she's bi at least right because of what happened in the fantasy room but maybe that's not canon uh for no reason but a gag it's a shame because i love tenko's design and facial expressions but god what's your character yeah that's that's why i don't like her i don't i don't like uh tenko um because she's a misandrous scumbag i feel like she's a straw man for 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 uh for you know feminism for a lack of a better word you know it's it's she's pretty bad in in any way you look at her she's pretty bad I hope she gets better, but I also hope she gets dead. 
Thank you for the comment. That was a good comment, Tiger Uppercut. Uh, Darkling the Second used 50 bits to say, do you regret Pickle Nagito yet? Fuck no, we're making an emote of Pickle Nagito. Expect that sometime soon. Fuck no. We're, yeah, Pickle Nagito's the best. It's the best. Raise your pickles. And it's on 1699, use 137 bits. Hmm. Position to officially change the 11037 meme to 11037 to make all the anti 11037 memes obsolete evil laugh. Ooh. 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 I don't know about that. Chat's, chat's gonna have words. Pickle Nagito is a mistake? No, no. That's one annoying Nagito. <laughs> Action Cater used to to say Pickle Nagito has completely gone off the rails and I think I'm losing my mind. It's just, it's just, it's the expression. It's the expression. It's, it's hilarious. The expression is so good. Um, Milgeshit or Mil, Milgeshit? I can't remember how to say the name. Has subscribed. I'm pretty sure I said this name before, but maybe not. Uh, welcome to Prime Time. Thank you so much. Or welcome back if I have said your name before. Thank you, thank you. All fan it for now. I must have a pickle Nagito on there. I hate you, Joe. Just a little, a hidden one, a hidden one. Like it could be like, find, find the pickle. Did, can you see it? A hidden pickle Nagito. Uh, Arelka13 has resubscribed for 11 months with Hey Joe. Welcome back to Switch. Almost one year. Super excited to see more of your content. Thanks so much. Hope you like it, Arelka13. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, these, these streams are uh, are becoming a bit more wacky with with the anime, but uh, yeah, I hope I hope you still enjoy them. Thank you, thank you. We're making a pickle Nagito emo. I hate you even more now. Well, of course, of course we are. Of course, of course we are. Of course we are. Put them on the shelf. Just put just put them right here on the shelf. Oh no! Do you guys see them? Do you guys see them? Okay. We're not we're not keeping pickle Nagito on the screen for the whole stream. I'm sorry. He's gone. Bye bye. He's gone. We're not we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Okay, let's go. Uh, we're going to the to the gym. Okay. Oh, hey, bro. Good morning. Did you hear the announcement? Ah. Yeah, we got to meet up in the gym, right? What's going on so early in the morning? Well, I guess we got no choice but to go. You go on ahead, bro. Huh? What? You're not going? So... Nah, I'm going. I just got to take care of something first, and I'll meet you there. Kaido pointed to the door to Maki's room. I suppose he's going to take hey, her. So... They said everyone's got to be there, right? Who knows what happened if some of us don't show okay. up? Yeah, you're right. Last night's training session. And now this. Kaido is really concerned about Maki. It would be nice if he could help her get along with everybody. I actually need, I need to fix the the sub animation hmm. too. Uh, it's completely broken on Streamlabs' end. They added a new thing to, to to make it work, and it's just completely busted. It doesn't matter what I change in in OBS settings, uh, it stays the same. It's completely fucked. Good morning, Keo. Are you going to the gym? Yes. Ah uh, yes. I was about to I was about to head over just now. I overslept a bit today. You see, hehe. <laughs> of course, the one time I do that, we are summoned, so I panicked a bit. I'm normally ready to leave my room by 7.30 a.m. Uh, that um, early, as you wake up at, Monica, at the Mana Cubs announcement. I... I usually wake up at 6 a.m. since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. Why does it take so long? Isn't that even longer than what a girl takes? Well, Kyo does have a pretty elaborate uniform, and he's also really pretty. Perhaps that's why. So then... In any event, we've got no time for idle chats. I shall go on ahead to the gym. Do, do, do. What are you building here? Hmm. So which monocub is in here right now because only they can control it, right? What monocub is building this right now? Or was that a l -l 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 lie? Uh, hey, garbage can, how's it going? Um, Himiko, good morning. <laughs> I'm not a morning person, nor a night person. I'm not really a person. Did that mean good morning? What a pain. What a pain. Why do we have to go to the gym so early in the morning? <sighs> I don't know, but I don't think it's anything good. 
We have an important student council meeting today, but this is gonna use up all my energy. I mean my mana. An important meeting. It's fine. No, no, it's okay. You won't use up too much energy just, just walking to the gym. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey! Hey, about this meeting, are you planning something? Yeah. Oh yeah, sort of. Andy said we should have a party. We were planning to play in the pool with everyone after this. Hmm. I see. Um, Atua said he wanted to play in the pool. What a peculiar request for a god to make. That's not it. Oh no, now's no time to be standing here talking. If we don't hurry to the gym, our faces might get peeled off like Mandarin or orange, orange, origins. Hmm. <laughs> I don't like Mandarin or origins. Peeling off all the white stuff is a pain. So that's where the all the girls will be Mandarin origami Ugh. Hey, what do you want something from me? Monica was start stared at me silently intensely as though you were trying to tell me something hey. Well, what is it if you have something to say say it? Suddenly a thought flashed in my mind. Oh, which one a man's fantasy? What? Where is this thought coming from? Not from my mind, from my heart? Yes, my heart, for I have love on my side. Hey! I understand now, Monokuma. You're telling me that it's time. The girls are going to play in the pool, which means they'll be in swimsuits. That must mean my a zany yet romantic scene will play out, and I'll be there. What should I? Is it really okay to be doing something like that? Tenka would kill me. Of course it is. Yes, I can't back down now. The power of love in my chest has filled my throbbing heart. Full charge. I have no choice. I must go. I have a bad feeling about this, but I need to go to the gym. What? Oh, did we go after we go to the gym? Are there any degenerates in chat that, that still eat the peel on their oranges? Are they still here? Or were they only for the stream the other night? Good morning. Okay. Good morning, Kibo. I'm worried. Suichi, doesn't this summon doesn't the summons give you an uneasy feeling? You're right. Well yes, I suppose it does. I thought. Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced. The timing is similar to when we received the monocub pads. Okay. Yes, I think that may be the case. Indeed. But it's all right. No matter what kind of motive is prepared for us, we can propose it together. Huh? Huh? I have decided. Don't worry. We won't allow the killing game to continue. Uh, thank you, Kingdom of Art Thirty Two, for gifting a sub to True Locomo. Hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much, Kingdom of Art Thirty Two. Welcome, True Locomo. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Alpha Marshan has subscribed as well for Prime for the first time. Thank you very much, Alpha Marshan. Welcome to Prime Time. And King of Art32 also gives it a sub to Nabless21. Nabless21? I think so. I think I'm saying it right. Thank you, Rich. Welcome, Nabless. That was strange. Kibo is uncharacteristically optimistic. What did he mean by won't allow it to continue? Oh, he's going to blow himself up. I had a friend who could eat bananas with the peel. He wouldn't do it regularly, but he did it once to show us, and I almost puked. Oh, damn. Were you friends with Kevin Spacey? Because holy shit. That's pretty gross. I think eating, is banana peel worse than orange peel? I actually don't know. Those, those are, uh, those might be completely equal in, in, in disgusting. I don't know. Why is there water in here? Question mark. There's a scene in K-Pax where Kevin Spacey eats a banana with a peel on. I think it's K-Pax. It was the same way when we went to the library after Rentaro's class trial, all clean. Like nothing ever happened. I'm surprised the crack in his skull wasn't relevant in the trial. For all the going in circles we did, 
you know, that wasn't a part of it. Ugh, man, I'm tired as fuck. I was up all night fixing that computer. Ugh. Uh, you took a look at the computer on the fourth floor. What do you think? Ah. Yeah, I only just started working on it, so I don't know the full specs, but ah. that thing is pretty good. I mean, it's so intense, it just won't let me sleep. <laughs> Are you jealous? Please stop! Of course not. I would never be jealous of a computer. But... Plus, she she already blew out all my fans. A robot jealous of a computer? It just seems plain possible. Okay, she keeps saying plain. Plain, 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 plain. Don't pay attention to me. I'm so plain. Plain, 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 plain. Plain, 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 plain. Sumigi, Sumigi, Sumigi got secrets. Sumigi, Sumigi, Sumigi in charge. Sumigi in charge. Oh? Hey guys, am I sleepwalking or something? What's she doing here? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I'm hallucinating after what Mackie said before. There's no way she'd be here. Come on, man. Don't say something so stupid. You'll never get to know her better if you never talk to her. But... Maybe everyone would prefer that. Maybe everyone would prefer that this dangerous killer stays far away from us. <laughs> of course I wouldn't prefer that at That's all. Enough. You better cut it out. No, no. He's right. Murder and death have no place in a peaceful academy life. Mm. <laughs> it's just like Angie said. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like Angie said. Huh? Everyone! Everyone, it's serious. Ow. Oh no, the colossal insect is on the other side of the wall, isn't it? No. No, not that. Gonta went to courtyard before coming here and... Rising Shiner sign! Rising Shiner sign. Thanks for bearing with us! Come on, what is it? Why'd you call us out all of a sudden? Eh? We're the ones who called them out. Did you forget that too? For now. Let's worry about the monet about Monotaro later and present the Sorry about that. Let's worry about Monotaro later and present the motive now. I knew it. So it is a motive after all. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what the motive is, we will not do the killing game anymore. That's right! That's right, we aren't afraid of anything anymore. Indeed. Because because we have Atua. Oh, fucking Atua bullshit, what? Actually. But it's no ordinary motive. This motive will inspire fear like never before. Mm. Fear like never before. Um. If you face a fear like never before, you'll have no choice but to unite. Now for the motive that will cast you down into the depths of terror. We'll, we'll present it together. together! This time, the motive is a transfer student. Yep! A new student is transferring, and not just any transfer student. You get to resurrect one of the four people who've died so far. What? And welcome them back to the academy as a transfer student. Well? What? A, a transfer student? Are you serious? We can resurrect someone? So. The instructions for the resurrection ritual are written on the Necronomicon. In the Necronomicon, not on it. By reforming the ritual is written, you can resurrect one deceased victim. That's right. But only one of the four who have died so far can become the transfer student. Why are they calling it the transfer student? Whoever you choose, that person will be considered part of the killing game semester. Ah. So technically you can kill him again as soon as they're resurrected. You know, if you wanted to use it like that. Okay. This motive is supposed to bring them closer together. Sorry. Oh, so, so, sorry, old habits and such. Hey. Monodam, let's forgive Monotaro. Forgiving is what friends do, you know. That's wonderful. Monophony, you're nice, but there is more to friendship than being nice. Friends are friends also punish each other when they do something wrong. That's why I'll have your I'll have you punish Monotaro. Hey. What? Me? <laughs> Please no, not Monophony. I'm always mocking her when she's not looking. I don't want to be punished by her. I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. Jesus shit, you son of a so bitch. Long. Farewell. So long. Farewell. We were all completely dumbfounded. Yeah, there's no way this is going to work. I feel like this academy has prepared me for absurd situations. But what I just heard was the most absurd thing so far. Incomprehensible. T -t Transfer student. Resurrecting the dead. Don't screw around. Don't say such a stupid thing. There's no way resurrecting the dead is possible. Okay, I'm really interested if this does happen. I hope it is real, but I don't think so. It just can't happen. <laughs> She's... Who the, f who the fuck would believe that load of unscientific bullshit? Really? We're questioning this? Listen. D fucking Kurum Kurumi d d Prime Minister? 
All good? D Disbelief due to a lack of scientific merit is simply the hubris of a scientific society. This ritual, or rather, resurrection ceremony, stems from funeral ceremonies the world over. Damn, look how he's trying to make it sound more legitimate. See, they are similar, yes. The act of sending the dead to the next world is a sort of ritual. Through, through rumors and legends, that ritual twisted into a way to return the dead to this world. A ritual. So? Since you keep rambling about it, I'm guessing you really believe all that stuff, huh, Kyo? Hee hee hee. What are you saying? There's no way the dead can be resurrected. Huh? What? Do you understand? Without a doubt, the souls of the dead exist, but they cannot be brought back to life. Dead flesh cannot be restored, just as broken glass cannot be mended. Mm. So you believe in souls, but you don't believe those souls can be resurrected. Uh. That seems confusing, but I know if we ask, this conversation will just go on forever. Okay. If not even Keo believes it, then there's no such thing as resurrecting the dead. Right. And if this idealistic degenerate can't believe it, no reasonable girl would believe it either. You think? Hmm, you think so? I don't think it's strange for the dead to come back to life. <laughs> <laughs> the kooky bitch is finally talking. But too bad, no one's interested in your bullshit cult. No. N no, wait. Let's hear what Angie has to say. Right. Yes, Angie is free to speak. Yay! <laughs> Can I say it? Uh, yay, ifications. Okay, I'm gonna say it. Because that's what Atua desires. I can't follow this conversation at all. Please. <clears throat> um, there's a straw poll for what? Why is there straw poll? I can't click on it right now. I'll check it later. Who would I bring back if I had the choice? Katie, so we can so we can have a a, a better better character than Suichi to run around as for sure. Uh, Tal Carmi has subscribed. Welcome to Dragon's Den, Tal Carmi. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Kingdom of Arts 32 has gifted a third sub to It's All Good Dog. Welcome, It's All Good Dog. It's All Good. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much, Kingdom of Arts 32. Uh, Rectangle America Butthole has subscribed with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time to Rectangle America Butthole. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Arcane24. Or Akane, no, Arcane24 has resubscribed for four months with the message Magic. It's magic. Thank you very much, Ar Arcane24. Let's listen to what Angie has to say. Uh, well, what? Do you think it's strange that I want to listen to Angie? That's right. So what? It's also important to listen to others so we can work together. Yeah, but she's nuts. She's nuts or manipulating us. This is fucking bullshit. I guess. If Angie is saying it, a dead, if a dead person might really come back. Hey. hey, let's hurry up and ask her. Okay, all all this shit is pointless, but let's talk to him, Mako. What? What? Don't talk to me about that. I want to hear Angie talk. It's totally possible to bring someone back to life with my magic. Uh, um, so you believe you can revive the dead, Angie? Uh, um, I don't think the resurrection ritual can really bring the dead back to life. It's probably more like returning the dead to us. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because... You know how the bodies of all the victims have been cleaned up? So clean, it's like there was never a dead body to begin with. So maybe... The truth is... They were never dead to begin with. They weren't dead. I mean, Ryoma got eaten by piranhas right in front of us. No, no, that's not possible. We inspected all the bodies ourselves. But, 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 but it might have been a very accurate imitation. No. An imitation. I see. Monokuma and the exocells are evidence of ridiculous scientific advancements, says the robot. So it may be possible for them to create extremely convincing imitations. Yeah. If that's what Angie says, then I'm starting to plainly agree. Mm. Through the plainly again, I've always supported Angie. Yeah. Yay, thank you, everyone. Wait! What? No, wait a minute. I saw them with my own degenerate eyes. Male. Grah, don't raise your voice to Angie, you rude degenerate. Why? Hey, you don't want them to be alive, Suichi. You don't want the dead to be alive? That's true, but... I, I do, I do want that. I wish they were still alive. Even now, I think that. But no matter how much we want that... But... Oh, wait. If everyone alive, that means they're somewhere in school, right? So maybe one of them write message in courtyard. The message in the courtyard...
Is this drawing like a divide here? There's those that Angie have converted to her bullshit cult. And then there's the people over here that she hasn't. I feel like this is growing into something. That, that her taking charge of some of the group is going to lead to something. Is it going to be this trial or the next one, I wonder? Uh, um... <clears throat> Gonta, you know about the letters written in the courtyard, right? No. Yeah, but it's sort of different now. On way here, Gonta go see writing in courtyard. Hey! And it to have more writing this time. Uh, okay. So, it's not horse A, it's they're adding lines. The... So the top one's the, or there, maybe? Like, the worst or something? The biggest, most awful? Hmm. Huh? More writing. Um... Gonta no could understand what writing mean, but right. maybe, maybe a message from dead. Maybe everyone leave message for us that say, hey, we alive. Huh? A message from everyone who died. Mm. Cause cause no one here write it, did they? So someone else must have write it, right? I'm pretty sure this is Kochiki fucking with you, Ganta. Are you saying a dead person hiding in the school wrote that message? In other words, it's a message from the dead? No. Wait, a message from the dead? What the actual fuck? How divine! Either way, there's nothing more divine than being reunited with a friend. As she spoke, Angie picked the Necromonicon off the floor. Say. Oh, that's an actual book they gave us? I thought it was just like, just they were just quoting it, and it was somewhere else. Uh, they, they actually left the book? Angie, whatever are you planning to do with that? Are you actually planning to perform the ritual? You do know it's a motive, yes? No. But perhaps it's a motive. But perhaps it's a motive that's dangerous to ignore rather than dangerous to use. Listen closely. For example, maybe the people who've died are actually alive, and if we don't perform the ritual, maybe they will be killed for certain this time. Ryoma got eaten by piranhas. We we inspected his skeleton. Uh oh. Hmm. It would be a problem if we allowed four potential survivors. To, like K Katie got crushed in a fucking vice with a big huge shower of blood that also killed fucking one of the mono cubs. Kurumi got executed right in front of us, although I guess, nah, like, okay, that one may be, but, like, like, fucking, Rontaro, we inspected his body. Real, 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 my god, eaten by piranhas. You're so smart for telling us, Gonta, you're a savior to four people, those four huh? people. Huh? Angie approached Gonta with her usual wet smile and... <laughs> yeah, she's totally, yep, yeah, okay. <gasps> Ack. You work so hard, Gonta. You're always trying to keep everyone safe. Even when you go berserk, you're still considerate of everyone else, aren't you? I know this because Atua is always watching you. Always watching, Gonta? Don't worry. You're not alone, Gonta. Atua is like a gentle grandmother, watching over you and keeping you safe. Grandmas are nice. Huh? Gentle grandmother, I thought you said Atua was a handsome man. No. Angie's Atua changes his appearance depending on who's looking. It's like magic. Whoa. Well, that's not, that's not suspiciously convenient at all. Oh. oh yeah, why don't you join our student council, Gonta? You're right. Yeah, it'd be really reassuring if you were part of the student council, Gonta. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You will use your power for the peace of the academy. Yeah. yeah! See how much everyone needs you, Gonta? You should definitely join. Mm -hmm. You need Gonta. Got it. Okay, Gonta joined student council too. Wait! Wait, before all that, what exactly is this student council? Is that why you've been acting yes. weird? Last night, Angie summoned us to discuss how we can eradicate the killing You're game. Right. Me, Kibo, Tenko, and Sumigi. Yes! And we arrive to a conclusion. This is the ultimate academy student 
council with Angie Yonaga as our president. Okay, so Angie's killing someone. I hope it's Samoko. Ultimate Academy Student Council? We've all banded together under the leadership of President Angie. Who's gonna kill one of us? Himiko. 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 Is the wholesale eradication of the killing game. Yeah. Our student council promises a killing game free Ultimate Academy. Huh? A student council and Angie is the president? Yes. Yes, there can be no harmony between us if we keep saying different things. Hm. Oh, shut up. Why? What? Yup, yup. Well, it's called the student council, but all the decision making is done by Atua. <laughs> but since Angie can speak with Atua, she's on the only one worthy of leading the council. That's right. Nah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna follow Angie too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Atua is happy too. Oh, man. Ah, jeez. They've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> <laughs> Angie has spread her influence before we'd even realized. However... But it makes sense if you think about it. This place has all the conditions for a cult to form. It's why the Danganronpa games are a cult classic. The fear of a, a death, of a death that cannot be avoided. Cults are born from a desire to escape them. I see. So she's using this situation to take over the school and make us dependent on Atua. And then when she kills someone, there will be enough of her brainwashed masses that won't vote for her so that we won't be able to vote her out. Please, wait! Using is, using is a rude way to describe it. The president wants peace for this school, and we all agree with her noble wisdom. Right! Yeah, gone to not let anyone talk bad about student council. Why you? You literally just fucking joined them, you brainwashed idiot. But, but I'm surprised Tenko decided to join the student council. <gasps> Huh? Well, why? That's correct. Because you and Angie were fighting over Himiko, were you not? Uh, who cares about that? I finally realized how great Atua is. So? That's right. That's right. Now we were. Now what were we talking about again? Tenko, fucking thirsty, man. Yup, yup. Oh, that resurrection ritual, right? Just leave this to the student council. It's less burdensome if Atua makes the decision. Wait. Less burdensome. Mm. That's a relief. If it's a Tua's decision, then it's definitely the right one. Also, chat promised that I would get better, but I'm actually getting worse. It's like magic. Yeah, yeah there's no way a Tua would be wrong. Yep, 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 yep a Tua is always right. Minute. Are you guys serious? The resurrection ritual is clearly a trap. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be fine as long as everyone puts aside their desire to leave. <laughs> I have doubt they'd listen to anything we'd have to say. It's true that they're probably not going to listen, but you could at least help too, Kaido. What's wrong with him? He's been quiet this whole time. In the end, we couldn't stop the student council. We left it at that and went our separate ways. It is time. Let us go in search of a man's fantasy. <gasps> oh shit! Oh no, I forgot. I forgot about this. All right, all right, get your pog champs ready. I headed to the pool. My heart's safety was off, and I was going in guns blazing. But a but a bomb, but ba dam ba ba. What an incredible sight to behold! My fantasy shining like a supernova. But a but a bomb, but oh shit! Haha! <laughs> They're so big, Tsumugi. Do you mind if I touch them? Who the fuck is standing in front of Himiko? No one has green hair. Who has green hair? Tenko? Tenko no have green hair. Tenko, no have green hair. Gonta disagree with depiction of Tenko. What? I mean, it's embarrassing if you touch them. What's wrong, Himiko? N nothing. It would just be a waste of magic to grow them that big anyway. Oh, I understand now. Don't worry. They're nicely shaped. Beauty is way better than size anyway.
So this is what Angie was planning, a party for the student council. Anyway, I saw it. I then immediately questioned the morality of my actions. Where's Gonta? Gonta should be here. Student council party, where is he? I just have to keep it, keep quiet, keep it inside, keep it together. I'm disappointed we didn't get to see Gonta in a Speedo. Transfer students reviving the dead. Atua student council. So many heavy conversations this no. morning. I shouldn't just sit here and complain. There has to be something I can do. I have to find something. Free time. Free time. So do I Do I have all the special items I could have right now, chat? Because we don't want to miss another one of those events, right? I don't think we can hang out with Mackie. <clears throat> I'll try and hang out with Mackie, okay? I'll try and hang out with Mackie. I want to finish Miyu. I'll try and hang out with Mackie once. Bondage boots. Oh shit. So there's new shit here. Damn, who likes bondage boots? Usable as art or an umbrella holder. Damn, I'm gonna get some bondage boots. High end headphones. Uh, and there's no there's new skills to buy too. Damn, should have saved some of my coins. Allows you to undo your last action would be effective during imagination excavation. The silencer shoots bigger shots effective during. Oh, that's pretty good. Switches to a better car with higher top speed and better acceleration. Oh, that's like why that doesn't seem worth it. Like that's only just one mini game. Hey, let's let's make our let's make our mini game better by by getting an item upgrade for it. Do, 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 do. Get more keys. Now we'll do all the keys in the, another stream. We might do some bonus events in the stream or whatever, or we'll just reload that save and we'll just keep doing it. All right, where's um where is Maki? We'll try and see if we can hang out with Maki. How do I switch over to 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 the students change tab? She's here. She's in her room. All right, let's go see if she can hang out with her. Hey, Mac, you want to be friends? Huh? What? No. Uh, I don't have anything to say. I just thought we could hang out. I guess that's a no. Thought that training with me and Kaido would bring us closer. Okay. Sure. Huh? Really? What are you trying to pull? What's with your reaction? You're the one who invited me. Sorry. Sorry, I was just surprised. I honestly thought you'd reject me. You don't me. know. All this time, I assumed I was just going to train with you two idiots, you and Kaido, and I thought it'd be faster to give in to Kaido's demands. Not sure I feel what about do you that. Mean? Even after hearing that, do you still want to hang out with me? Should I hang out with Maki for a while? Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Fine. I'll hang out with you, but I think you'll end up wasting your time on me. Spent some time with Mackie talking about nothing. Mackie and I grew a little closer today. Would you like, yeah, let's give her a present. Let's give her some fucking, like, a real gun. All right, chat, what should I give her? Please please don't give me a bad answer. Like, this like, this is just saves me Googling it because for the sake of, this, of the stream. Just tell me what to give her. Forty-six moves of the killing game. Anything but a sword. Hand grips? Hand grips. Where are hand grips? Should we give her some ketchups? Hand grips or a punching bag? Okay. You seem very specific, heavy men, so I trust you. Alright, so where are we getting hand grips from?
Ward Insect Trap. Right, there's the punching bag, right? That's just a hand. We already looked at that one. Monkey's paw. Cosmic blanket. All right, let's go to the punching bag. Home planet? Is the home planet better than the punching bag? What don't I see? I saw the uh, the, the the punching bag. We already talked about that. Okay, I'm giving her. The, I'm giving her this. Got a minute? I didn't think I would get something like this from you. But I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? Um. Hey, Mackie, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times, detectives really are more skeptical than necessary. Well. well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. I've never heard of assassins working together, but she couldn't be working alone. <sighs> when assassination sorry, assassination organizations disband after they become You're known, right. that is true. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Mackie's voice was confident, but she swiftly averted her gaze. Hey. Have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. No, that's the, f no, that's the first I've heard oh, of it. Yeah. Of course, an old person would have no affiliation to any cults. Hmm. <clears throat> Atua, a cult? What does that have to do with your assassinations, though? I see. That's the assassination organization I belong huh? to. You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. It's a new cult from behind the scenes that trains assassins. But... That, that sounds made up. Sure, It's whatever. real. The foundation is the boss of the organization. Sorry, the founder is the boss of the organization, and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for a consultation, and the fee is a donation. That's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter. They're there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details. Hmm. I can't believe it. A cult like that exists in our country. Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things aren't revealed to the public. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay away, right? Well. Well, yes, it does give off that impression. Well. Being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal and it hasn't caused any trouble either. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. By the way, now I have to kill you because I told you this. She sounded as if she's just accepted that that's the way things are. Then... Then I assume you're a devotee in this cult? That's wrong. Of course not. No, that's wrong. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're, you're a detective? That's true. I suppose you couldn't well... be. There are several assass assassins beside me. Besides me. But no one is a devout. Sorry, no one is devout. Uh, we don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's... You don't share that kind of information with each other. That's obvious. Of course not. When the time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. Sometimes the button don't work. She's just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Oh damn, that was a friendship fragment. Nice. Okay. Still a bit dazed by Mackie's incredible stories I return to my room. It's so fucking incredible. There's still time. Alright, back on the Miu roller coaster. Let's go. Choo choo. Where is she? Mew gang, Mew gang, Mew gang, Mew gang. What was that? I don't give two squirts of piss about the student council. It's got nothing to do with me. If those turds want to roll downhill together, that's fine by me. Should I hang out with Mew for a while, even though it might not be safe? Even though it might not be safe to ask. What was that? Huh? Get your diarrhea-looking face out of here. What? What? I spent some time taking Mew's verbal abuse, but she calmed down eventually. Nice. So I ended up growing a little closer to Mew. Yeah, let's give her a present. Let's give her another one of those vibrating dildo things. She's probably already broken the first two through through excessive use. Do 
She what? buys him in packs of 12. Well, what? How did you know I wanted this? Um, Don't tell me you're you're that into me. <laughs> well, I guess a prime version like you can't help but think about it about... Think about all day long. Okay. Maybe I read that wrong again. I was worried about Mia and her augmented story, so I went to talk to her. She seems down. She must be thinking hard about something. Uh, um... Ah, uh, Mia. What? what? Don't talk down to me. Because... No, I'm worried about you. Uh, w worried? You're worried about me? Her voice cracked. I, I, I'm I fine. Know. I'm not that upset. Remember. But you were talking about being augmented before. Um, so what? Even if I am human, it's not your problem. Okay. I suppose you're right. To me, you're still Mew. Why? How can you say that? Hmm. Mew, your face is right. Is something wrong? Uh, nah, nothing's wrong. Boy, is it hot? Aren't you hot? I'm hot. I guess I gotta take off my clothes now. Isn't that right? Okay, off they go. Huh? What? Wait. Out of my way! Humph, I'm letting it all hang out. Wait! So stop. Th then what? take it off. Take off your clothes. Huh? Why? Ah! Come on, just whip it out already. Jerk it to my perfect proportions. No. What are you talking about? Hey, and hey, hands off. Ugh, uh, ugh, uh, ugh. Uh. Hmm. Mia, what's wrong? Are you sick? You should get some rest. Are you worried about something? Um. Huh? huh? Suichi, you blockhead. What does a genius like me need to worry about? Would it be what? weird if I was worried, though? No. It wouldn't be weird at all, Mia. Even geniuses worry about things. Um. But it's, it's just heartache. Huh? What? Uh, I mean, what I mean it meant was, uh, hmm. a heartache, I see, so that's what's wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm falling for you. Huh? What? Me? Huh? You said at first that you're so worried about me because you're in love with no. me. I never said what? that. Huh? You didn't? Okay. No, I didn't. Uh, Damn, Suichi, what the hell, man? Uh, uh, uh. uh oh, Mew's face somehow got even redder and she ran off wailing. Did Mew just confess her love to me? You got a friendship fragment. <laughs> Mew was long gone. I returned to my room, dumbfounded. What should I say when I see her again? Sweetie, every time we visit her, we give her a fucking dildo. What do you think the impression she's gonna get? We're the, we're the dildo man to her. Oh, here comes Suishi. Time to get another dildo. That's what she thinks every time we show up. Hey, want to hang out? I have another dildo for you. Like, Oh, Montaro is out cold from being punched by Monodam as punishment. So we'll be taking a break from making announcements. While Monodam and I are on break, we'll leave the rest to Daddy. The dildo gifts mean go fuck yourself. Oh man, that's true. That announcement didn't mention it, but I, but I suppose it's night time, time to train, but is Kaido okay? <sighs> and now the doorbell won't stop ringing. I suppose he's doing just fine. With the doorbell s still ringing, I made my way to the door and opened it to find. Oh, we're dead. Huh? Huh? Mackie. <sighs> Kaido's resting. He says he's not feeling well and that we should train without him. Huh? Just the two of us? Jeez. It's pretty thoughtless of him to bug me to train with you guys and flake but... out. Ah, uh, well, he did say he wasn't feeling well. Weirdo. Why are you making excuses for you're him? You're right. Ah, uh, no, I, I guess you're right. Hey. Let's just get this over with. I didn't come here to make small talk with you. Oh, damn, we gave you a punching bag too, Mackie. So we're really going to do this training, just the two of us. And that's how Mackie and I ended up training together. Hey. Hey. What is it? Why are you training? I don't think a detective needs to do this. Probably not, but... Overthinking things and worrying about what I need to do. When I'm with Kaito, I feel like all of that stuff just fades away. Do you look up to that idiot? Uh, well, he is taller than us. I don't know if I'd call it looking up to him. It's just that I've never been around someone so relaxed and impulsive. I think that's exactly what I've been missing all this time. <sighs> I never realized until now how gross it is to hear men talk about being manly. Mackie sprang up and said, All the girls in this game suck. Hey. 100, I'm done. Mackie seemed non nonchalant as she brushed off her hands. 
You're really fast as usual. So I used to be forced to do push-ups until I passed out. 100 push-ups is nothing. Huh? What? <sighs> About Kaido, I sort of understand what you mean. That's true. But I'm a bit jealous of how carefree he is, even if he is useless. Wait, I was taught to only value the essentials. I was forced to abandon anything non-essential so they could mold me as they saw fit. Well... After everything they did to me, I sometimes wonder what I am anymore. I didn't ask to become this way, it just happened to me. After what I've been through, am I still even human? Even Kibo acts more human than me. Because... But I had no choice but to. This is stupid. Why am I talking to you about this? You can't help me. But... Ah, uh, but I'm kind of the same way. Well... I never once wanted to be a detective. I actually thought it wasn't too great. It's, I actually thought it wasn't too great a job. Uncovering people's secrets for money, it's the okay. worst. But now I feel completely different. If it's going to help my friends, I'll do it. And it's Katie and Kaido that have helped me see things that way. So what? I didn't ask to hear your story. I didn't ask to hear yours! Maki's face remained totally unfazed as she turned and walked away. Maki! Dramatic walk away. Ah, uh, see you tomorrow, Maki. Bitch. She didn't reply and kept walking. Alright All right, then. I'm still a little worried about Kaido. He seemed off since this morning. Hope that's nothing serious. Maybe Maki killed him. Yeah! Welcome back, Maki. You finally came. Jeez. You know, Maki, it's not okay to walk around at night time. Why? Why? I'm not violating any school regulations, am I? Yeah! yeah Monokuma's regulations don't matter. Uh... I, I think they do, but Kurumi's crime happened during nighttime, right? But... If no one was allowed to walk around at nighttime, that case wouldn't have happened. Indeed. That's why the student council is trying to limit all nighttime activity. Well... Limit. So basically, you want to take our freedom away, is that it? My, my! Yeah, <laughs> you're so odd, Maki. What's more important, freedom or a person's life? Um, we need to remove all worry and doubt so everyone can have a peaceful life here. Atua! Because that's what Atua says. How divine! That's what Atua says. <laughs> Atua says. Yes! People are afraid of you, Maki. We prefer it's preferred if you are more careful. Damn. Notice how, notice how, like, her, her rapid switching between hanging over left and hanging on her right. It's kind of like a pendulum swing, like she's trying to hypnotize you. Damn, damn, the symbolism. Hmm. It's for the peace of the academy. Notice how all the all the worst characters are on the council. I wonder if you know. What if that was on purpose? What is the point of human life? They're born as useless babies who can't do anything, and seven years later, they're they're useless old people who can't do anything. Hairless, toothless, wearing diapers, unable to take care of themselves. In the end, it's also meaningless. Damn. Monokuma is way better at Monokuma Theater than Monodam. What about Gonta? Gonta is the newest one. G G Gonta is an okay character. But before Gonta was on there, it was... It was, you know, just fucking stupid dumbass robot the worst character in the whole series the other worst character in the whole series just complete bullshit not even here but maybe doing that on purpose because she's actually in charge and the other worst character in the whole series you know so that's the morning announcement is it it was a little creepy i don't like this at all well i suppose i'll, I'll go to the dining hall Worst character in the whole series, but he nah, Hifumi's way better than these worst characters. Shuichi. Good morning, Suichi. Okay. Good morning. Hey. Are you heading to the dining hall? Nihihi, <laughs> same here. I'm too hungry to do anything. But now I'm sad. With Kurumi dead, we can't eat her delicious meals anymore. <laughs> wow, I'd give anything to taste mom's miso soup again. Resurrection ritual, bring her back. No. Ah, Kurumi's not your mother, though. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah? You think I don't know that? All right. Well, see you later. I think I, I bring back Ryoma because, like, ethically, you don't want to bring back a murderer because that's not fair. You want, you want to bring back one of the victims. And Rontaro fucking sucks, so I would bring back Ryoma. 
But I didn't give Rontaro much of a chance. Maybe Ryoma would just try and kill himself against me. Do you bring Ron back, back uh, Rontaro? I don't know. Uh, good morning, Mackie. Hey. hey, you okay? Huh? Okay, what do you mean? Nope. If you don't know, then don't worry about it. No. Well, if you sit like that, it makes me worried. Well... I got stopped by the student council while I was going back to my room last night. They told me I can't walk around during nighttime. Yeah, we were there. Huh? What? Why? It's not breaking. Suichi! Woo! Suichi, we were there! Brew! Okay. They said it's because Kurumi committed her crime during nighttime. <sighs> but then Angie gave her usual a two assess. Why, why are you pretending you weren't there, Suichi? Suichi, you plan you plan some murder? You plan a murder by going out at nighttime? Atua. Well. We shouldn't ignore Angie. Losing our freedom may seem fine for now, but soon enough. What's the point? Well, I'm sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. What do you mean we weren't there? We walked back into we walked back into the house and we were there for the conversation. He didn't say anything, he was just there. We walked in and then Maki appeared in the middle of the thing. What do you mean? It wasn't Maki's POV, she appeared in the middle of the room. We don't appear in the middle of the room when we get to a scene. It wasn't Maki's POV. Well, I'm sure Angie's not interested in anything I have to say. That's true, we should do something about this. With the student council running things like this, a rift might form in the group, and then we'll be in a situation we can't go back from, and resurrecting the dead is going to be a problem as well. Oh, where did where did Suishi go then? Because it, this is where they are, right? And they were doing they were working out, and then Maki went back here, right? So where did where did Suishi go? Where did Suishi go? What, what's he planning? What's he planning? Did he go and commit a murder? Did he go and plan a murder? Is it happening again? It's happening again. Oh. Good morning, Kyo. Hello. Good morning. Are you going to have breakfast as well? Okay. Yeah, are you coming? Yes. Indeed. I also intend to do some research and organize my lab today. If you are able, can I request your assistance? Hey. Organizing your lab with all the stuff in that bookcase, it must be hard. However... Oh, not at all. That bookcase is a mountain of treasures. I've found things besides the cage door village documents that detail other seances. But the one I am most interested in is, of course, still the caged child. The seance again. Listen. In any case, I would like to sort my various documents. Well, will you assist uh, me? Okay. Yeah, sure, if I have time. Yes. Excellent. Please drop by at your earliest convenience. Well then. What? He has been talking about Sans non-stop lately. He's obsessed with it. Suchi sucks at fishos, Mackie fish for Yeah, but they continue having their conversation for a little while before she left. It doesn't take that long to do that many. Where, where, where was, where was, okay, what are you establishing? Okay, I don't really care. It's not really that important. I'm just curious. What are you establishing on that Suishi wasn't there? That he just said that one line that might've just been a mistake? Or, or was there a hint in the scene itself that, that he wasn't there? Literally nothing? Okay. His sprite wasn't there. His sprite is his sprite isn't on here right now. Are we not here? Let, let's let's go back into the room. Our sprite isn't there. Uh, it won't let us. Damn. It's 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 hiding the truth. The game is in on it. The game is in on it. The moment I entered the dining hall, I heard an angry shout fill the room. Don't screw around! Quit messing around. Don't just do whatever you want. Huh? Hmm. I, I wonder if we're in the scene right now. Hmm. I have, but I have a to his blessing. That's right. Yeah, we have a to his blessing, and I'll throw any degenerate who won't shut up about it. Hmm. hmm. I know you claim to be the student council or some such, but this is going too far. Yes. No. As we said before, this is all to end the killing game and keep the peace. What? What's going on? Oh, I just got here now. 
Okay, we, we just got here now. We didn't hear that conversation. That was a cutscene. All right, let's talk to everybody. Actually, I don't understand why everyone's getting so mad. This is so the killing game won't happen and we'll have a peaceful life here. Hey! Student council has spoken. This decision for everyone, Sake. The decision of the student council. What does that mean? Is Kaido upset about it? Listen closely. We're doing this to eradicate the killing game and bring peace to the school. You want that too, don't you, Suichi? Hmm. The most important thing is peace in the academy. That's what we're working towards. This is for your guys' sakes too, you know. Okay, again, so they're all on the left side of the room. Split right down the middle. Five on five with us not in it. No, there's no. It's 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 six, isn't it? Six on six on six with us on the other side. I was looking from Angie to the left. Ugh, degenerate male. What are you defying the student council? Don't make me throw you, Suichi. What was that? Fuck your Tua. Don't just act on your own without hearing our opinions, mainly mine. Yeah, you tell him, reluctant waifu. Um, Kato, what's wrong? What are you fighting about? Damn. These guys did something unbelievable. They blocked the manhole that leads to the underground. Huh? The manhole? Hmm. Gone to put heavy rocks on top of manhole so no one can use it anymore. With my magic. I could have made it disappear with my magic, but I decided to let Gonta handle it this time. Um, Why would you do because... that? Because the manhole is a reminder of our desire to leave this place. We don't want another tragedy to happen again, like what happened to Katie. Listen up! You said it, Angie. We need to forget all about the underground tunnel and start fresh. Don't screw around! Damn it, she just does whatever she wants without even asking our opinion. Certainly. It certainly is important to hear everyone's opinion, but if we did, nothing would get done. You're right! That's why we just decided to obey the student council president. If it's Angie, then she'll make the right decision. She can hear it too, after uh... all. Man, she's a lost cause. Plain Jane's like her, total rubes when it comes to cults. Thank you! Sumigi, so, thank you for your fantastic speech. I was truly moved by it. So was Atua. Mmm! Mmm! Uh, thank you for always supporting me. Atua smiled on you for your plain and simple service. I've been wondering, does Atua have red eyes and hair as black as night? Atua has whatever features you desire. A red-eyed, black-haired god. Oh, what a cool god I have watching me. When can I meet him? I want to meet him as soon as possible. Atua exists beyond time itself. But I'm certain you will feel his presence very soon. Precious! So cool. Atua is just so cool. Cults like these can be really annoying if you get on their bad side. But, but... but why are you guys so mad over the manhole being covered? The truth is... Is it because you guys want to use it to escape? You still haven't given up on leaving you. here? You haven't given up. Uh -huh. You haven't given up? Huh? What the hell's going with... What the hell's wrong with you guys? Let's see. The student council cannot ignore that. It seems we must tighten our control. What? Titan, are you calling me loose? That reminds me. You were in the computer room past nighttime yesterday, weren't you, Mia? What? Yes, so what if I By was? The way. So was Maki. She didn't go back to her room until way past nighttime. Hey. Suichi, you too, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. Huh? Jeez, this isn't good. If your life is in disarray, your mind and body will be too. Cause Atua says Atua so. is right. We must forbid everyone but the student council from walking at nighttime. Huh? What? Stop! What? What do, What I do and where I do is none of your fucking business. No? Nope. No, as long as everyone still wants to leave, that is not acceptable. However... Why is the student council exempt from your rules? That is blatantly unfair, yes? Uh... Nah, I'm not worried about the student council. They don't want to leave anymore. <laughs> That's right. Why would you need to go outside anyway? Here we have food, clothing, shelter, wonderful friends, and best of all, my magic. Right? What else do you need? It's not good to be greedy, you know. <laughs> nah, everyone in the student in the student council is so divine. Always messing Don't around. Don't be stupid. Are you telling me to just stay here and do nothing? That's enough. Like hell, I will. I haven't even gone to space yet. Rise and shine, Rise and shine, Ursine. 
Hey. Are you all fighting? Um, I don't think so. I think that maybe they're not actually fighting. That's right. Yeah, and even if they were fighting, it looks like a friendly one. Huh. What are you here for? We're busy right you now. Bastards. We want you to get even closer with each other. That's wonderful. So we brought this. Oh. A flashback light. I see. It's part of our use the flashback light to restore a new memory. And become better friends by talking about it with each other plan. Ah! Wow, I've suffered way too many blows to the head to remember a plan named that long. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, let me see that. Ah. Uh, smash. Angie smash. Suddenly Angie grabbed the flashback light from his hands and. Yep. Mm-hmm. She threw it on the ground and stomped on it relentlessly. Ah, ah, ah. Nah, the, the student, student council. council has decided that we will not use flashback lights anymore. What? W why? Because the flashback lights only restore our memories of the outside world. But we don't need those memories anymore. We realize now that we don't belong in the outside world. We belong here, at the Ultimate Academy. Oh, oh no, if you don't use the flashback light, our plan is a bust. What are we gonna do, Monadam? New school regulation, you have to use the flashback light. Ah. Hey, he ran away. Oh. Hey, Monadam, wait. So long, farewell. So long, farewell. <laughs> wait, did, did that sound like only two of them were singing it? Did, did they, did they take away the lines of the other bear singing along as the bears dwindled down. That's a cool, uh, a cool thing. Did they really do that? Cool. I'm impressed. Okay, so, so either Angie's gonna kill someone or someone is going to kill Angie. So how, how's it, how's this gonna work? Would it make sense for Angie to kill someone on the student council who she has more power over or would it make more sense to kill someone else who isn't on the school council? And is therefore she has more of her of her goons to manipulate during the trial, and to make everyone else you know not vote for her, it, even if it comes down to it that it looks like she's guilty. So she might kill Mew. She's not gonna kill us. Oh, maybe we we die and we become someone else. Kaido maybe. I don't think Kochiki could be murdered. Uh, Korkio maybe. Maki is a no. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Haha. <laughs> Bye, Onara. Wait! Angie, what are you doing? Oh, dear. We could have remembered something about the funeral or the ultimate hunt. Damn, maybe Korkio is going to kill Angie. That's not right! There's no reason to remember all that. We're not returning to the outside world. Right. Yeah, it's pointless now. Always messing around. Why you? You've gone way too far. Even if you want to stop the killing game, you're going way too far. Sorry, sorry but you should take that up with Atua. Oh, man. Jeez, I don't think you're sorry at all. So, do you have a plan for you know what? Ah. Oh, you mean the resurrection ritual? We have a plan for that. What? What? I knew it. What are you planning? Because. Just a necessary precaution. The more friends we have, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Huh? A necessary precaution. Uh. Um, what if we get another time limit motive? Like the one that got Rontaro killed. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't we have a sacrifice prepared just in case? Uh, um, you mean if someone has to die, we should volunteer someone we resurrected? What is it? You're going to resurrect someone just to kill them all over again? <laughs> <laughs> you have some cruel plans for someone who wants to stop the killing uh... game. Life cannot always be fun and smiles. Atua must make diff must make difficult, even cruel decisions. But but but, but we must submit to Atua's will if we if we're to live a peaceful school life. Yes. Atua's will is absolute. Yeah. If Atua says so, then there's nothing we can do about it. Mm. Nah, it's just like Atua says. What? Are you serious about this? Did you forget that thing? That thing's a motive for the killing game? Okay, is Tenko starting to realize, oh shit, I joined the crazies? Kaido, what's wrong with you? You're looking worse and worse. Yup, yup. The motive is of no concern to us as long as you cast it. Did I read Kaido's line? Are you serious about that? Did you forget that that thing's a motive for the killing game? That motive is of no concern to us as long as you cast Sajiri's eye to escape. Well, you know. By the way, who are you going to resurrect? Ko Kochiki, can you pull your pull your like like manipulative shit on Gonta to get him back on the side of justice, please? 
What? Because the only reason they're able to do all this shit is because they have Gonta be the muscle. What kind of stupid question is that? Uh... Mm, after discussing the matter with Atua, the transfer student we will revive is... Rantaro Amami. Huh? Rantaro? Because... Well, we simply cannot resurrect convicted murderers such as Katie and Kurumi. <laughs> Me and Angie, man. Me and Angie. Nor criminals like Ryuma, who violated the rule against sharing one's motive video, which leaves Antaro as the only one who'd be of use to the student council. True, Antaro was the only one who knew about the ultimate hunt. They're going to bring him back? Hey, I have a question. That might sound a little weird, but does the term ultimate hunt ring a bell for anyone? No, no, this is impossible. It's not going to happen. He's deed. Katie killed him. Dear, dear. Oh my, it's already so late. I need to get going now. Prayer time. I must pray to Atua and begin preparations for the ritual. Uh. Nah, you're right. It's time to pray to handsome Atua. Well, well then, let's go. <laughs> yeah, bye Anara. With Angie leading them, the student council strolled out of the room. What is it? She acts like she's carrying out a two as well, but this is her. But this is her will, isn't it? However, even so, we cannot defy her right now. Extreme faith is frightening indeed. Hey. Then it's an all-out war against the student council. Six versus six. We can win this. The good <laughs> characters versus the bad. Also, we have the assassin on our side. Let's have her kill them nice and quick. No. Uh, no. We have to resolve this peacefully. I see. Sure, that'd be great. But I don't hear anyone coming up with a plan to end this peacefully. By the way. What about you, Kaido? Look at my dick. It's look at my dick pose. You've been quiet this whole time. I bet you have some great ideas. Huh? Huh? You say something? Oh. Uh-oh. Someone was zoning out. Kaido, something doesn't seem right. I'm down to resurrect the dead if they're just going to be sacrificed after coming back anyway. It doesn't matter if they die once, twice, or a hundred times. As long as they're dying instead of me, their death isn't going to waste. What? Why are you glaring at me? Please you should wait for me. your balls to drop before you try to side-eye me. Please forgive me. Ah. Oh yeah, if we want to start a war against the student council, we should wait until after the resurrection uh, ritual. Um, Kochiki, you want to go along with this because... motive? Because it sounds fun. Don't you want to see the resurrection ritual too? Actually, I do. Ah. Oh, but Angie wants to make Rantaro this transfer student, huh? Mm. I don't want him to come back to life. Huh? Why? Well, you know. It's because I love you the most, Suichi. I'm always thinking about you. And you'd rather see Katie brought back to life, huh? huh? That's... Yeah. You're so admirable. That's why I want to support you. It's a lie. Oh, wait. That's a lie. Look at my dick. Well, you know. Come to think of it, I once saw this anime that was also about a death game. The mastermind sacrificed a family member as the first victim to get the killing started. Huh? Sacrificed a family member? As in killed them? Ah. Yeah, as a show of force. Maybe that's what happened to Rantaro. Damn, was it a twin sister? What if Rantaro was working for the Mastermind? Bringing him back might be a bad no. idea. No, that's idiotic. Rantaro couldn't have been working for the Mastermind. But is it really impossible? We only knew Rantaro for a short time. He did seem as though he was kind of used to the killing game. <laughs> Nihihi, looks like you're starting to understand what I'm getting at, Sushi. No, no matter what we say, Angie's probably dead set on who the transfer student will be. Right? If he comes back to life, then that's that. Nothing we do except to look, except look forward to it. I want to see it too. I'm looking forward to it. All right, Yusuke, what do you have to say? Listen. No one could go against Angie at the moment, but that. But what's even more worrying? Her followers may begin acting on on their own, using her name as an excuse. I didn't do Yusuke voice. I'm sorry. Okay. That's one way of looking what at it. What was that? Huh? A resting bitch face and creep show starting to feel sympathetic now? Or I mean, I understand what you're trying to Fucking say. Fucking slugs. Fucking slugs. But that, but that numb nuts Kato isn't following along at all. Explain it for him. Uh, um, Kaido? Hmm. He's still zoning out. Seems like it. He didn't respond to me teasing well, him. You know. Well, let's just put it put aside the pathetic mess for now. Just explain everything for this stupid bitchlet and her cow tits. <laughs> uh, he insulted me. Mm. Such a situation is common among groups with absolute leaders. To gain the favor of their leader, or to sacrifice themselves to their faith. Like, we have, like, let's, literally Kochiki, man. The followers begin to take more radical actions. Oh, are, it's, are, we, are we in Kochiki's call and we don't even realize it? Oh man, Suichi, you've been hypnotized and you're doing shit without realizing that's what you were doing last night. Oh, it's doing it again. 
where Kochiki's thrall. That's why he said you're the bat when he said you're my favorite. That was his version of a hug. Oh man, it's cult versus cult. Which means Which means they might crack down on us to make Angie's role rule more comfortable. Huh? Yeah, rule over us? That might what? become a problem down the line. Well, well, I doubt they'd start with that, but it's only a matter of time. Um Okay, oh we didn't talk to Mackie, I'm sorry. Kaido, what's wrong? Are you feeling okay? Oh it's nothing, I just feel chill is all. If I rub some spit on it, it'll feel better. What? Rub spit on what exactly? Yeah. Any anyway, there's no need there's no such thing as a re resurrecting the dead. There's no way, it's just not possible. Yeah. Damn it, no. I can't stop these chills. Huh? Huh? My bad. Sorry guys, my bad. I'm gonna go back to Are you sick, Kaido? Oh no, he he has he has earth sickness. He has earth pox from being far enough from far as far away as he's ever been from going to space. Oh, Suichi, I'm uh, I'm dying because I know I will no longer be an astronaut. Oh, oh no, oh no. Kaido left on steady feet to go back to his room. What is it? What was that about? Is he getting sick? Hmm. We were just talking about all that occult stuff. Maybe he's possessed. <laughs> I'm starting to worry about that guy. Hmm. You seem to be enjoying this. <laughs> the rest of us left the dining hall and went back to our rooms. He's dying. He's gonna die from ligma. What's ligma? Hajime, I just heard this thing about ligma. Do you know what it is? What's ligma, Hajime? Uh, we link 1000 you submit to say I've been dead for several days my spirit is wandering around the campus my friends are told that they can bring me give me back give me back to life uh, they decide to go for it they read the necromonicon and begin the ritual I feel my soul rushing back to my body the ritual worked I see my friends again hey you you're finally awake Todd Howard has done it again uh, the King of Arts 32 is using her bits to say, what was your most enjoyed game to play during the Halloween streams? Uh, probably Until Dawn. Until Dawn was 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 fun. It was entertaining. Uh, it was really funny as a stream as well. Um, the best game I played during the Halloween streams was probably Silent Hill 2. But uh, my favorite and most enjoyable one was was uh, Until Dawn. Yep. Uh, Action Cater used to miss to say, I went to my weekly tabletop RPG sessions on the campus. Uh... And at one of the tables I passed, there was a guy wearing a fantasy helmet. I got into conversation with, I got into conversation with me, sorry, with M? It just says M. Oh, with them. Okay, sorry. It, the, my, the thing breaks up lines in really weird places. And I asked, hey, what's the helmet from? And he replied, Skyrim. I burst out laughing and everyone at the table were very confused. I tried explaining before walking away thinking, God damn, Tom, Todd Howard has done it again. Is this a real story? Is this a real story? That happened? Uh, Kingdom of Arts used some more bits just for a bunch of cheers. Thank you very much. Um, and then we have Ligma Balls. Yep, yep. Oh, that's what Ligma means. Thank you. And Dirk Yerk or Dirk Yerk. One of those two has subscriber prime for the first time. Thank you very much. Welcome prime time Dirk Yerk or Dirky Dirk Yerk. Not sure, but thank you very much. My goal is the same as Katie's, get out of here with everyone. And that means I need to do something. Free time, oh damn, let's go get Muse underwear. The time has come. I wonder if it's gonna be, you know, you just got Muse like permanently wet panties or something. Dirt, you can never dry them. After we finish me, we'll, we'll hang out with the next best girl, Himiko. <laughs> this computer is pretty awesome. No matter what I do, it always responds very sensitively. 
Should I hang out with me for a while? Yep. What was that? Huh? Fuck that. I get way more out of spending time with this computer than with you. If you want to be useful, bring me some food. I haven't eaten since this morning. Okay. I brought me some food and got to spend time with her as a reward. I really like this music. I somehow ended up growing a little closer to me. Would you like to give me a present? Yeah, here's, an, here's another dildo from the dildo man. Cause I'm the dildo man. Giving diddle, dildos to all these thoughts. What? What? How did you know I wanted this? Um. Don't tell me you're that into me. <laughs> oh, whoops. Skipped over that. What did it say? Uh, still thinking about Mio's confusion. I couldn't come up with a plan. Ha ha ha. Hey, Sushi. Why the sad, miserable face? I guess I was the only one worried about it. <laughs> Since you look so bummed out, I got you a present. Uh, um... Is it another another invention? <laughs> ha, what a crazy idea. I almost feel sorry for you. Out of my way! I, Miyu Aruma, will show you just how versatile I really am. So here, take this. Hmm. Is this a pie? Sure. Yep, it's an apple pie. I baked it from scratch myself. Put your dick in it. I didn't think she would bring me a pie. And it looks really professional. Mio must be a pretty good cook. Impressed, I inspected the pie. That's what I found. Uh, um... Uh, Miyu, is this a hair? Ha <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I added some hidden ingredients. Wait! Don't worry, I'm gonna worry about hair in my food. <laughs> Please but forgive me. I just wanted the person I like to, to eat me. What? What's going on right now? Bunny Boost 24 says, I figured out how there are no bugs in this game. Clearly Bethesda sees their games as bug sanctuaries and therefore sent their normally idle debugging team to spike Chunsoft. <laughs> Todd Howard has done it again. Apologies if this is a repeat. I sent this joke to you yesterday before uh, I knew you were too tired to do the bits. Uh, I read through the messages but I didn't see this one so thank you. I didn't read it out loud either. If I did see it I forgot. Okay, what's going on right now? I made more two cookies with my fingernails, chocolates with my blood. Well, at the very least, it means that her confession was genuine. She's, but she's uh, coming on a little strong. Uh oh, she's staring at me. She wants me to eat it. Uh um. Uh um. I'm really honored that you made this for me, but I'm concerned about the hygiene, and there are no hospitals around here, so we have to be careful. Ha! <laughs> you got a lot of balls to lecture me, but you know, even a genius like me should be more careful with the stuff I make. Uh -huh. If anything happens to you, I might go crazy. It's like, it's like, it's like, she's like, kind of like Mikan a little bit. <laughs> if, if that happened, the world would never recover, right? Isn't that right? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I just have to make you something else. Huh? What? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> the time has finally come to use this. Miyu whipped the ray gun, for, whipped out the ray gun from earlier. Out of my way! Time to go commando. She took aim and then... Ugh. Uh, a piece of fabric suddenly materialized in my hand. If I remember correctly, I think I know what this. Re oh, that's a good callback. Oh, damn. <laughs> what do you think of that, Sushi? Can you feel my residual heat? Yes, yes, I can. <laughs> Listen up. You get it now. You've earned the right to date me. Huh? I've what? That being said. When we get out of here, you're going on a date with me. Got it? It's already decided. Huh? Is it? It is. The doy. If you go on a date with me, I'll just explode with excitement. If you turn me down, the world will never recover. Understand? You're the guy in the world who's ever made me feel this good so you better take responsibility for what you've done <laughs> this is how me expresses her feelings i see i don't know what's more surprising the fact that the gun actually worked or that she was wearing underwear to begin with okay all right i understand haha <laughs> <laughs> it's a date you promise better not forget <laughs> <laughs> me smiled but re but i returned it with something more akin to a grimace but at the same time, she is showing me a lot of affection. I'm happy that I was able to make this kind of connection with Mia. As soon as she deep down, she might be fine. This is just what she like puts out to the world. I'm a little, uh, no, very nervous about this, but still, I'm sure it'll be okay. We'll get out of here together. Your friendship has deepened. Mia's report has been updated. With. You've learned a new skill: XX X-ray goggles. I then spent some time listening to Miu's delusional date ideas. Miu's undergarments. Oh damn, what the fuck?
Let's inspect them. Miu's favorite panties, special underwear worthy of adorning her busty, brainy, beautiful goddess body. Damn. Damn, man. Damn. There's still time. In, there's still time until nighttime. Oh, more free time. All right, let's go hang out with Himiko. Let's do it. We're doing it. Check the skill. I don't know if I can. Can I check the skill? How do I check the skill? Can't I only check it during the um, during the trials? Uh, once part of an object, uh, once part of an object becomes visible, the entire object will be shown, affected during imagination excavation. Oh, that's, that's kind of decent. Okay, let's go hang out with him a coat. We can even find her. Kind of all right. He complains about others, but he can't even take care of himself. Irresponsible idiot. Shine on Mackie for a while. Is that so? I was about to go on a walk. You can tag along if you want. Spent some time strolling around the courtyard with Mackie. We're never hanging out with Himiko. Him Himiko could be the last person left in the whole entire world, and we're not hanging out with Himiko. Mackie and I grew a little closer today. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a face on a fucking volleyball and hanging out with Wilson before I'm hanging out with fucking Himiko. Mackie and I grew a little closer today. Would you give him Mackie a present? What is Mackie? Punch, punching bag, right? You could be locked in a room with a gun, two bullets, and Junko and Himiko, and I'd shoot fucking Himiko twice, okay? Got a minute? She's the worst. I didn't think I would get something like this from you. But nothing to give you turns, is it okay? Hey! Hey, Maki, I noticed all the weapons in your lab. Do you know how to use them all? Uh oh, did I upset her again? Sorry. I'm sorry, did I ask something wrong? So what? Okay, you know what? Let's get real. Let's get real, all right? Because maybe that wasn't far enough, okay? If I had a choice between hanging out with Himiko or brace yourselves, okay? Because this shows how far I mean it, all right? Okay, brace yourselves, chat. I would rather hang out with Nishima before Himiko. Nishima. Not really, I just think it's strange that you keep asking me irrelevant questions. Depending on the situation, my weapons change, but I know how to use them all. Hmm. Uh, is that alright? I imagine stealthy weapons when I think of assassinations. That's true. We use those too, but I mostly have knives, also poison, sniper rifles, jujitsu, bombs. Huh? Bombs for an assassination? Okay. A warning kill has to be flashy. I've turned a five-story building into a four-story one before. You can control an explosion just to destroy just one floor. How frightening, no wonder she's the ultimate assassin. So it's rare to be that flashy though, normally disposing one target hey. is enough. So what kind of people have you assassinated? What, are you talking about? what do you mean? Uh, well, um, I only know about assassinations from movies and stuff, I so see. this will probably disappoint you, but I don't kill only bad people. Because I kill anyone on my orders list, it doesn't matter who the person is. Hmm. I suppose that's just the way it is. I see. But I've also had to dispose of people who I knew well. Huh? Huh? Like who? Okay. Friends from school. Huh? Friends? Why would you have to do that? Do 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 well, A daughter of a Yuzuka leader. She was the child of a mistress with no ties to the gang. Her father loved her very much, which is why she was seen as dangerous. The Yuzuka elites decided to have her removed in case rival groups used wait. her. Wait! What? But she didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Yeah, but I did as ordered. Just to make sure you don't forget her. What? 
how is that a how is that a, a what how is that a reaction why i suppose you had to just to make sure you don't forget her. okay let's do that one just to see um, just make sure you don't forget her why why are you looking at me like that i don't have time to remember every face i killed don't forget me nope but i actually do remember her is this no it's nothing well you may think it's unreasonable to kill someone on the account of other people but everyone does what they can do to live they can't live you me and everyone i've murdered kill but I can also be killed that's all cold and indifferent Maki had been rolled around by words 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 I had never seen it happen before I couldn't think of anything to say oh, damn, got a friendship fragment nice all right staggering from the weight of Maki's story I return to my room uh, Badger Latte has used turn bits to say miss a majority of the stream so I'll become one of the VOD boys now but I want you to know one thing, Kochiki is actually the best waifu. Oh, damn, is he really? Is he really? I like Kochiki, he's grown on me quite a bit. Thank you for the for the, for the the bits, Badger Latte. Hopefully you see this in the VOD. Shout out to the VOD boys while you brought it up. VOD boys and girls. I think there are more of you than there are live watchers. So, shout out to the VOD boys and girls. Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what will happen to training. That's true. I should go see what Kaido has, uh, Kaido has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Damn. Hope he doesn't die. Uh, where's Kaido again? Is he on the second floor, right? Second floor right of the stairs? Yeah, there we go. Hmm. I wonder if Kaido's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. Right as I was about to ring the bell. Click. The door to Kaido's room opened and out came... Mackie. Oh, oh, damn. I wonder if we're in the scene or not. Ah, oh. uh, Mac. Oh, we are. Okay, it's confirmed. All right, cool. Ah, Mackie. Is she mad? Uh, okay. Oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you, too. Well, he told me he was going to skip today's training, too. I knew it. So he still doesn't feel well. My bad. It's pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think it, it'll. I think I'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know. Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaido. Do what you have to do. Nah. We'd have to reschedule our training sessions either way. Come to think of it, the student council said being out after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? Well. I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do I that. I see. Really, but. No. Nope. I don't want to skip it, so it'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? What? Really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Huh? To die? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's an old habit. Just pretend you didn't hear that. What? Just just slipped out. I I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyway, I don't want to give up now. Good thing I didn't slip out while you're pretending to be the ultimate child caregiver. I finally started to think about how I can confront okay. it. Okay. So if I have to train alone, so be it. Uh, um... Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but this is really unlike you, Kaido. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you did whatever you wanted. My bad. Suishi, I'm sorry, but I can't. But but can I leave the train to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Of course, Kaido. I nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Hey! Maki, about Kaido. You shouldn't worry about that. He's just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. My body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um... Waifu and husbando. Umaki. Both Moe and good anime. Just taking a shot in the dark with that one. But her glare wasn't aimed at me. It was right past me. Uh, such intense hostility. So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from that glare. Huh? To Tenko. I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well... I'm not here to fight you. I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? What? That's right, That's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor. A personal favor. Kill Angie. Uh, a favor um, from us. Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. Um... Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. Well, you are, but not by them. 
What? Alright, I'm really curious what's going on here, but, you know, I kind of want to go and spend some of my mana coins. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Once I'm level 54, we're going to be asking some questions, okay? I'm training. Actually, this is taking way too long. Let's talk to me. Well, you're not brainwashed. Does that mean you willingly join the student council? That sounds worse. Hey, Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No. I can never believe in Angie's God. Huh? What? Listen up. I only believe in Aikido. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. <clears throat> Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Well, rip Tenko! Then... So, you just pretended to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? Hey. It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie is dangerous. That's right. The student council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Uh, Angie truly, truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. No, that's why she does whatever she wants. So she's nuts? No, I don't I don't buy that, but maybe she thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Hmm. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Uh, I won't yes. deny that. I've wanted her gone even before this all happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their Listen life. Up. But going through with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Well, Do you realize who you're talking to? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I, I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. If we go along with Monokuma's motive, it could lead to another killing. But, but the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please. That's why I came to, came to ask you to. You're the only ones like, who, who can stop Angie. Huh? Only us? Uh, yes. Well, I obviously can't ask Ochiki, Miyu, or Kyo, and Kaido's not feeling well, you That's know? That's true. I see, you didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is true. Please. So please help me, you have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual. I'm begging you. Tenko bowed down as deep as what? As, bowed down as deep as she could. Well. Well then, let's go. Huh? What? We didn't even answer yet. Ugh, You're quit complaining males. and do this favor for me, you degenerate. I'm even bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. Well, you just did. That's that's not the best thing to say to someone who you need a favor from. Just Ew. add it to You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So what will you do, Suichi? This seems like something you'd ignore. This is something I'd ignore? Who do you think I am? No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's hey, motive. Degenerate male. Then do something about it already. I thought males were supposed to be decisive. Sneak no. Attack. I guess I'll forgive you, though. Now let's con go convince Angie together. She should be preparing for the ritual right now in the Ultimate Artist Lab. Huh? Together? I'm going to? <gasps> uh, of course. I wouldn't ask just Sushi for help. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? Oh well. I'll just go to Angie's lab. But a bit of bomb, but down, but down, bomb, bomb. But a bit of bomb, but down, but down, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but down. Oh, who's here? Oh, you also out at night. Oh, hmm, this is an unusual group of people. Tenko's a student council member, so I get why she's here. Look at my dick. But Suichi, Maki, are you guys even allowed to be here? It's already nighttime. <gasps> ah, I was just. Keeping watch for anyone out, for anyone out during nighttime hours. And then I caught these two roaming around. Yep, I'm just just doing my job as student council member since I'm on the student council. Tenko, if you act like if you act that enthusiastic, you come across as suspicious. Kochiki, go back to your room and sleep. Mm. Oh, I see you take your job very seriously, but you shouldn't lie. What? <laughs> Lie down on the job, that is. Nihihi, <laughs> well, good night. Who knows? It's hard to tell with him. He's always spouting random nonsense. Anyway, that's sorry. Angie's in her lab, right? But a bit of bomb, but down, but down, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but down, but down, bomb, bomb, but a bit of bomb, but down, but down, bomb, bomb. We're coming, Angie. 
Oh, I wonder if she'll carve a wax statue of Rantaro. I wonder if that's what it's all about. Do you guys want me to stop saying the look of my dick whenever he does that po that pose, or do people like it? Is it funny or is it not funny? Keep doing it? Okay. It has never been funny. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, it's not funny. Damn. Damn, it's not funny. Damn. Why why are you presenting your opinion as an objective fact? No, don't do it. Alright, is it gonna be locked? Alright. Alright, here we go. We'll find out what Angie's up to after the break. Five minutes, enjoy the music. Be back in five.
All right, sorry, that might have been a little longer than five minutes. When I went upstairs to take a Himako, I saw that Leo was awake, so I brought him back downstairs with me. He just woke up from his nap. Uh, this is a poll for orange slices, and we, and we nine people who eat the peel. Oh, damn. 12 people eat the orange peel, you guys are weird. Are you guys letting me fan art? We'll do fan art at the end of the stream. We'll probably we'll we'll try doing fan art after first break and at the end of the stream. Uh, we might go a little late today just to make sure that we see the murder. All right. All right. It's right here. Just when I reach my hand toward the door. Oh wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Locked? Ah. Oh, that's right. Angie said that she locks the room while she's working. I grabbed the doorknob anyway just to test it. Good, good. You actually are testing it. Good. I knew it. So it is locked. Wait a minute. Move. Mikey pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Bam, bam, bam. Hey. Angie, open this door now. Hey. Wait, Mikey, you can't do it like that. Stop being a little old miss impatient. Then. Then how should I do it? Um. Angie will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Tenko turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Knock, knock, knock. Please! Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Ah! Oh. It, oh. <sighs> what? Oh, Tenko. Yes. Yeah, it's me. After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yaha! Yaha, can I help you? Huh? Huh? Why are Suchi and Maki here? Uh, um... Oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please come in. No. Ah, uh, no, it's not that. Well, Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well. well, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab, but... We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. No. <clears throat> Well, that's terrifying. Huh? Katie and Rontaro, Kurumi, Ryoma. Yoo-hoo! I made them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep, they're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Huh? Fucking called it! Fucking called it wax effigies? Why? Of course, of Why? course! Why? For the resurrection and ritual, of course. Um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on! So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably wouldn't would have been better, but I, once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. Did she go and get their clothes from, from their rooms, or are their clothes colored wax? Yeah. <laughs> and before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? You... You do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? Mm hmm Why? But... It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Really, Suichi? Yeah, just like the real thing, but... <laughs> Fucking Ryoma's is terrifying. Fucking terrifying. Well... You tried persuading her first. Detectives are good at talking, right? I feel like she might have some misconceptions about detectives. But I know Maki isn't very good at persuading people, so it's up to me. The fact that Angie can do things like this without care is what makes her so dangerous. Please, you have to stop Angie. The more I look at it, the more it looks like Rantaro. But actually... It really looks like Ryoma. But actually... It looks exactly like Kurumi, but actually... Hey, can we borrow the Kurumi one? Angie. Angie, can we borrow the Kurumi one? It looks exactly like Katie. The face and body, it looks like the real thing. But actually... Damn, you've got the musical notes in the hair. Hey! Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm -hmm. 
I see, I see. Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, um... I don't think you understand how bad that might be. But remember that this was Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. Uh... But the dead can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive, especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real bodies still had traces of a soul. A soul desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that could never be replicated. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. Oh shit, what do you mean? This is really awkward for Kibo. That's true. Ryoma, Kirumi, Rantaro, and Katie, and Kibo are dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubts about their death. I have no doubts that their deaths were real. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery. Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... Hmm. but that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up till now will come back. So if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will, will surely <laughs> work. Yeah, that must be right, because Atua is never wrong. Um... You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of course. Of course not. This is Atua's will. Hey. This is your will, not Atua's. No. Nope. Nah, -uh, it's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. Get punished. Or else we'll get punished, you know? Uh... You're probably still worried about the motive, Suichi. But it's okay. See, I'm glad that they introduced Atua from the beginning instead of having it like, oh, chapter 3 rolls around. Oh, by the way, I've been talking to this god named Atua all the time and this is what this chapter is going to be about. They actually did some planning and set it up ahead of time. Good job, game. I know that may seem like that's, that's obvious, but, you know... Um, Games and stories don't always do that shit. Atua has spoken. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all thoughts of escape. Is that so? Is that so? Then there's no point talking anymore. Uh... Hmm. Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. They even had some development on it in, in, in the second chapter with, uh, with Worst Girl. <laughs> if you're gonna slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. <laughs> hey. Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. <laughs> Yes. Uh, okay. After failing to persuade Angie, we, we reluctantly left the lab. Yeah. But on my way out, I planted a steel spring trap on the back door that will spring out and kill anyone who tries to open it. It's already nighttime, so please be careful to head back to your rooms. And as I'm the last one to leave, I'm gonna put a plank of wood against this door so she can't leave from this door again. Right, right. Oh, and uh -oh. it's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Eh? But, but... It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know. Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make, make this place our paradise. Yes. yes nah. nah? What's going on? Why? Why are Suishi and Maki here? They're not on the student council. And it's night time. Himiko! Himiko. It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Nah? nah? She betrayed us? That makes me really angry. I will now commit a murder and kill Tenko and then get myself executed. And the game will be much better. That sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. Stop it. You're making me blush. Cut it out already. Enough already. Tenko walked toward Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Nah. nah. Himiko! Please snap out of it. Aren't you a mage? Uh. That hurts. Let me go. <laughs> Himiko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? 
If you can't even see that, then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Kimiko! Get mad, get upset, yell at me, just fight back already, do something. Uh, Tenko, um... let's just leave it leave it be for now. Huh? Eh? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you got some rest. Bayonara. Sound good? Bye, Onara. Until then, I'll continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. Are we the only ones that sleep? Oh, maybe we don't sleep. Suichi just guts up and does his own shit. Himeko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms and propping the wood against the door so she had to use the other door. Um, Tenko, are you okay? Wah! Wah! I said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do. <sighs> uh, I know she'd never hate me, but she'll demote me from best friend to just a huh? friend. You guys were best friends? Uh, no. Well, if you round up to the nearest whole number, we were basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well. Move the mouse, please. The mouse isn't on the screen. Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right. If the mouse was on the screen, there'd be a million people telling me to move it. That's right. We'll like, we'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Whoa, that was a quick turnaround. Hmm. You should let Suichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. Really? That's the first time I've heard that. Nah, you guys, you guys aren't, you guys aren't fooling me. Nope. Nope, you guys aren't fooling me. Nope, mm -mm. nope, mm -mm. not getting tricked. Not getting tricked. Nope. Nope, not getting tricked. Uh uh. Nope. Really, that's the first time I've heard of that. Piece of cake. Don't worry, I'll use my wor my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. She bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. Ah. Uh. <laughs> uh, were you worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for you to worry? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Huh? Ah. Uh. <sighs> Fine. Okay, I'll move it. Fuck. You guys happy now? You guys happy now? We moved it. Okay. We moved it. All right. We moved it. Okay, we moved it, alright? We moved it. Ah! There's that habit again. Uh, thank you, Jason Kim, for the resub for 11 months. Thank you very much, Jason Kim. Thank you, thank you. I think that was here when we came back from break. Sorry, I didn't see it till now. Thank you very much, Jason, Jason Kim. There's that habit again. Well, I suppose on the on the, pos the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well... What are... <laughs> what about the ritual? <laughs> Have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Mackie hurried back to her room. Hmm. So Mackie's going to think about it too. I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. It really gives me inspiration and confidence to commit my murder. I don't know a lot about this place. But I don't, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Damn, vague. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a, in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my, my partners, sorry, my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school, but the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons, because of my odor and because of how I would flop around on my desk. 
and because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. What's the reference? It's it's ET. Yeah, Monodam's voice is actually a little difficult for me to do and I'm getting a little tired again, so sorry, I didn't want to do Monodam's voice. Monokuma, man, what's the matter with you? Huh? The intercom this early in the morning. I wonder who it could be. Okay. All right. I think I think I think we've had enough of, of pickle, pickle Nagito, right? I think we've had enough. All right. There we go. Better, right? Well, what's with that face? You look like you just woke up, huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. You, you wake up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose that's true. Uh. It's fine. Let's just go stop the huh? ritual. K Kaido, okay. I heard from Maki Roll. <laughs> it seems like Angie's gonna do the ritual. What? Maki Roll, don't give me such a weird nickname. Ah. You brought Kaido here, Maki? Why? Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case the straightforward approach fails. Who better than Kaido for a less than straightforward approach? But, but Kaido, are you feeling okay? Sure. Yeah, we don't have time to be worrying about me. We gotta put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. And then we can finally drop that topic, or else I'm not gonna last. Not gonna last. Kaido, are you? Um. Scared? Huh? Huh? No. Ah, it's just that I remember you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because. Good song. Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since. We start. We, ta we started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! D don't be stupid. There's no way. Uh, um, ah, so I was right. Not a minute. Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you were scared? So... It's, it's not that I'm scared. It's just how my body is. I'm fine when it comes to cramped areas, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories... <sighs> since I was a kid, whenever I hear them, I start to feel sick. Kaido was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Damn it. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Uh, okay... So let's hurry and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. If things getting scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Ghost pox? Why are you looking at me like that? Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut up! Shut up! Let's just go stop Angie already. Come on, bro. Come on, Mackie Roll. Hurry I up. I told you. Seriously, don't call me Mackie um. Roll. Anyway, let's go to Angie's lab. Damn it. Hide the pickle every stream in a different location, like Monokumas. I should set it up so it so it there's a pickle that just goes around the, the edge of the screen constantly like a like a Christmas light decoration. Good morning, Kyo yes. Kyo. Ah, uh, good morning. Oh. oh, well if it isn't Kaido, are you feeling better already? Ah. Yeah, somehow. Sorry though, we don't have much time to talk right well. now. Well, don't push, don't push yourself. Things feel amiss without you, without your boisterous voice. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. My bad for making you That's worry. That's right. Yes, and all because you were scared. Oh. Hmm? Did you say something? Shut up! It's nothing, right, Mackie Roll? I told you. Quit calling me Mackie Roll. Okay, I have a feeling we're gonna lead to, we're gonna get to a, a, a death here. So let's let's take the uh, let's take the pickle away, so we don't have a pickle on the screen during a death. Say goodbye to the pickle. The, 
pickle's leaving. The pickle's gone. Uh, let's talk to everyone on the way up. Bye bye. Bye bye, pickle. Bye bye. We're out of free time, right? So there's probably going to be a death now. Maybe there's another day of free time, but I have a feeling that we're, we're coming upstairs here to see someone who, who died. No one here to talk to on the way up? Damn. I level up so fast, like slapping the shit out of every, out of every uh, scene. And um, did we go to the wrong place? No, we are coming here. Slapping the shit out of every scene and, and walking everywhere instead of fast traveling. Hey! Okay, won't let us go in any other rooms. Aw, oh, God fucking damn it. Alright, I hope the murder hasn't happened yet. Hmm? Yeah, you guys again. Why? Himiko, why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check on Angie. You. So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive, we shouldn't just let let it happen. Uh, okay. That's exactly right. It's not because I'm scared or anything, okay? Sure, whatever. But it's good that you're here. She won't open the store for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then... So tell Angie to open it for us. <sighs> nah, that's not possible. Huh? Not possible. Hmm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she must really be into her work. She won't come out. Angie's deep. Huh? Won't come out. Are you sure she's in there? <sighs> she should be inside. Both this door and the back one are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. Click, 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 click. It really is locked. But these doors only lock from the inside, which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any responses? No. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer. Himiko! Himiko, we need to get inside right now. Nah? Mm -hmm. Why? I killed her, and then I came out and locked the door from the outside with my magic. Ah. But, you know, even if we wanted to check it, to check its lock so we can't do... I see. I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you are about what the tabloids are reporting. What? You obviously didn't hear anything at Ew. all. Where did you come from? Um, a little birdie told me that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kochiki's trick? Uh, ah, the lock picking. Uh, huh? Lock picking? Hey! During the insect meet and greet, Kochiki was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. Can you use your lock picking skills to get this door open? Damn. Damn, you're the master of unlocking, mm -hmm. Kochiki. Look at my dick, you want me to pick up this? <laughs> want to pick open this door, huh? Hmm, let me see. Kochiki bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Ah. Oh, it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um, yes, please, Kochiki, open the lock. You. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Kimiko. Now's not the time for that. Something might have happened to Angie. Yeah. Don't worry about that. Kochiki, hurry up and open the door. My bad. Sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. Kochiki pulled out some thin needles then stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Squish, squish, clack. See? There. Open says me. Huh? Open sesame. That's simple. Nee hee hee. Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Well. 
Lockpicking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me. Ah, that cuts me. That cuts real deep, Maki. You cut me deep, Shrek. All right. Let's get inside. I'm worried about Angie. Got it. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. And you get inside that lab. I'm worried about Angie. Cool. Can we can we just make sure this is locked first? Going in without permission, I won't cover you when Angie gets mad, you know. Okay, you know what, I don't care, let's go. When I touched the doorknob, I realized that my palms were sweating from fear. Fear? Why am I nervous? Because they're gonna find out that I'm the one who killed her. I'm not gonna get away with it. I turned the doorknob, pushed open the door, and saw... Well, the game just got better. Yeah. Ding dong dong ding. This is an official announcement. A body has been discovered. Everyone, please assemble at the ultimate art lab. <laughs> oh, green vomit this time. Ah, uh, she puked again, and it's green this time. Monophony's green puke is said to be an omen of bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? Was she stabbed with the katana from from uh, whatever his name is? Lab transfer student from beyond the grave. Well then, let us pray for Mojo Angie. So that Atua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <laughs> Atua, please take care of Angie. It, it can't be. Hey, hey, why did it end up like this? Didn't Angie have Atua with her? You don't know? Clearly she didn't. Weird! That that not true. Angie say Atua is always by our side. <sighs> it's all my fault. Angie let me borrow Atua for the night. And now she's dead. <laughs> we don't have time to be talking about this instead of talking about Atua. Right? Yeah, we gotta talk about which one of us is the culprit and win this killing game. Really? Wait, this is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But why would someone do such awful thing? But is that really what happened? Huh? Huh? Could it be? Is it possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... Rise and shine your sign! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, a vomit-soaked entrance. How novel, and the puke is green again, too. That's a pretty ominous sign. Uh, what's it? Could, are we sure it's her? Is it, is it like another one of her wax bullshits and there's another body in here that, that's hidden? And that's why it triggered the alarm? Uh, why didn't another murder happen? What's the deal, Monadam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along. It's okay. Don't worry, overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes. Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it it's not? Fine. Murders are necessary to- Yeah, I can't do this voice for real. And bring everyone closer together. Ugh, but how? So then. So let's get started. We are all friends. Conduct a friendly investigation, then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. It's the Monokuma oh. file. Oh look, the Monokuma file. I wanted to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to? Didn't you want to do it too, Monophony? So. By the way, I've been thinking you guys should knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Living is all the rage these days. Blah 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 blah. blah. Ah, uh, more green puke. This is really unlucky. Contaminating the crime scene. So long. Farewell. So long. Farewell. That must be 25. So then. Ah, uh, as there is no use complaining, we are better off beginning our investigation. It was you. So everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait. No, not Gonta. No way. Gonta ever get used to no. this. 
Trust me, you don't want to get you want don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. Nihihi. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Unfortunately. Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. But but still, it's strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle, Angie's body in a pool of blood. It certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. Shuichi! Alright bro, I'm counting on you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. Uh, okay. Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaido? Uh, okay. We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. Seems like... The culprit? Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Hmm. I get how you feel, Sumigi, but do you have to repeat that tired old line every time? Um... Oh no, that's not it. I mean, could this have been the work of the transfer student? Huh? Huh? Uh... Angie prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made those wax dolls ha hanging upside down as part of the ritual. Could it be? Maybe the ritual succeeded, and the rest of the person that killed her- Oh, it was Katie again! Fuck yeah! Eek. Hey! Guess who's back? Back again? What? Shut up already. What? It's her fault telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. Uh, her, uh, uh, um. She took- she dropped everything she was holding, which was a katana that she dropped into- into Anji's fucking chest. K Ka Kaido, are you alright? Damn! Sure, sorry, Suichi. I need to get get some fresh air. I'll leave this to you and Maki. Do a good job, you guys. Damn. Kaido left. Still a bit wobbly. <sighs> Do a good job. That coward has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> uh, maybe that wasn't the best way to, fa to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage. Jeez. You've clearly settled right into your sidekick role. It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit out anymore. Well... So where should we start? We should check the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yes, let's take a look. The victim is Angie. Yep, not even gonna try. The ult the ultimate artist. The body was found in the ultimate artist lab. Okay, it is her. It's not a it's not a wax doll. Okay. The time of death is approximately two in the morning. Really? Okay. The cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a laceration. Hmm. The Monokuma file included the time of death this time. Hmm. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. <laughs> so the murder happened at nighttime after all. If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie and Atua said... <laughs> She wasn't following the rules. Kihihi. <laughs> what good will saying that do? The culprit may be one of the student council. Yes. Why? A member, a member of the student council. Th that's. All right. We should go and figure that out. Let's start investigating and solve this mystery together, Hajime. It's impossible. I can't. Himiko. Himiko. Uh. I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But. But if we don't make it through the class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Huh? What? What a pain. Surviving and everything else. It's too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use then why don't we just use your magic to revive Angie? Please stop! This is no time for your mean spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. Is that so? We cannot say that with certainty, no? Huh? Excuse me? Excuse me. No. Well, of course resurrecting her is impossible, but I know of a way we can speak to Angie. It really was him, wasn't it? He's gonna do this bullshit caged dog. Oh, look, Angie's ghost is here and she's gonna tell us who the killer was and it turns out that it was you. You see. We can summon, we can, we can summon her spirit with the seance called the caged child. Seance? What are you trying to pull? Seance, what are you talking about? Cut it out already. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, this is no time for jokes. I am serious. Oh, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. Huh? Did something just drip from the ceiling there? What the fuck was that? For our investigation. Yes. 
if we speak with Anji, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. Well, you know. First a resurrection ritual, and now a seance? Are you messing with us? Do you understand? Hehehe, <laughs> I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written of in lit literature and the world over. Didn't say that very well. In fact, I myself are, have participated in seances a great many times. <gasps> the many times. <laughs> On top of that, we have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, The Caged Child. It would be foolish to not take advantage of this, yes? No. No matter how you put it, now's not the time for something. However... Oh, I suspect the only way to confirm your earlier theory is by performing the seance, yes? What? My earlier theory... Therefore... The possibility of, of the culprit being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. Yeah. So to prove such a thing impossible, I think at best we consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible! The, that logic is peculiar to say the least. I'm gonna sneeze. Um. <laughs> Holding a seance to find out about the ritual, so we're gonna fight the occult with the occult. Okay. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest solution. Looking at my dick. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored investigating anyway. Huh? Hmm. Huh? I'll help too. Huh? Huh? You too, Himiko? Hi. If I can talk to Angie one more time. I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it takes, I'll do it. You can talk to the Angie one more time if, if you're fucking dead. Well, I'll help out as well. I can't leave Himiko alone. Do whatever you want. Do whatever you want. Yes! Okay, I will. So then. So now we have four participants. Kochiki, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the caged child requires five people. We're still one short. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Then Keyboy can come too. You're Not a right. person. I guess we can't be picky. Why? Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? Mm -hmm. How about your lab? No. No. In order for the caged child to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. My lab has windows, so turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. Then. Then, how about the empty rooms? That's... Yeah, something like it, it draws a line. That's what looks like dripping. Why don't you do it in here with the rest of the bodies? Or the body empty room, the one, the ones on the fourth mm. floor? There aren't any windows there. So if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Pitch dark. Sure, I'm fine with Listen that. Listen up! I agree with Himiko. Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? Then... What's going on here? The... Is someone else gonna die? What's going on here? Um, the middle room. The middle room's always the always best for stuff like this. I see. Yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you for help as well. Let us carry all the necessary equipment from my lab. Uh, um... Are you really going to do this? Do you understand? This is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to use all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost. C can we look at the body first or shit? Kyo, Kochiki, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all left the scene. This is stupid. Are they serious about this stupid seance? But... Perhaps that's just part of the investigation. In their eyes, we should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. Okay, we are you done. Um, we'll be continuing tomorrow. We'll be doing the investigation and the trial tomorrow. Um, as long as there is a stream tomorrow, as always, there could be, you know, something that might get in the way, but there should be a, a stream tomorrow, and it'll probably be a longer one so we can finish the, the investigation and the trial. So I'm going to look at fan art. So if you have any links, let me know, and uh, we'll do the investigation and trial tomorrow.
That is a lot of links again. Holy crap. Can I just try checking the body? Sure, we can do that. I'm curious about that too. Angie's body, she's lying face face down in the middle of the room. What's wrong? Are you going to take a closer look? Uh, okay. That's how he's planning to. Nah, this is going to take too long. We, got, we might get roped in here. This is going to take too long, sorry. Let's just save it and we'll continue after that. I think it's confirmed that it is that it is her body. I don't think the Monokuma file would lie about that, but maybe I'm being naive. Okay, I'm not putting I'm not putting this on the screen. It's just it's just a green 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 like okay, I have to put it on screen now just to show why I'm not putting it on the screen. Like like what 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 the fuck? We found our emote. There it is. <laughs> no. No. Nor nor this one. Come on. This one could go on while I'm doing the rest of them because it's true. This one on the screen before with uh, the one from Lazy Town. That one's been on the screen before, hasn't it? I'm pretty sure we, we, we put that one on the screen before. Oh, this is just the one about the. Uh, the mouse? Why'd you put a mouse there? What the hell? <sighs> okay, no, I'm 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 not putting I'm not putting like the character with a piece of food for their head on it. Like no, no, no. There are there are limits. There are limits. There are limits. Not a single hit hidden, hidden pickle in these ones. I'm disappointed. Floor is using reason, reasoning and logic. <laughs> there was a hidden pickle in mine that was there. Okay, let's see. I don't think we've gotten to it yet. Sip. I regret my decision. Number one weep. What? Doll. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, this got real. Holy shit. Whoa. Is that is that where, where my career is going? Showing my, my pickle for, for, for money? 
when humanity is so beautiful, you've got to steal it from them filthy casuals. <laughs> I like this character. I hope it wasn't him that committed the murder. I like him. He's good. He's a good fit for the Yusuke voice, too. Five minutes into... Becky and chill and she gives you this look. Oh, there's 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 the pickle the pickle next to Becky Yeah, this was a weird choice with this art I guess I guess breaking out of the style is is to have more impact I guess but it it looks kind of bad eh, It's growing on me actually the more I look at it Lucid, how do you feel about uh, the, the the pickle the pickles going on now instead of instead of all the Leons? So Sayaka, what does this one one zero three seven even mean? Lol, it's just the date eleven zero three twenty two thousand seven. That's when I was born. It's it's the date that the that, that we saw that we saw the crane come come through the from the pond at school and you chased after it Makoto it was a message for you that I wasn't lying about my love and there's the pickle there's the pickle big mac face is pretty good big mac face pretty good and here's the screen cap with with the with the mouse on the left. It's real magic. Joe, you hacker, literally unplayable. Damn people people who are in chat are on the screen now. How's that for for, for viewer audience interaction? Damn. Damn. Looks like SpongeBob SquarePants. Was he hiding pickles under his tongue in the scene or something? And they're all they're, now they're all pickle pickle negitos. Is this a famous scene from from SpongeBob? <laughs> Sorry, I haven't seen SpongeBob. Then we have uh, do, a donut and do nut. Poor Owie, man. Poor Owie. Poor Owie. Do I have a childhood job? I'm really old. Donut and do nut. And the other one, I'm not sure if I want to put on the screen. Let me go look at it myself for a second because I feel like it might be a little offensive. And I just want to make sure that it's okay before I put it on the screen. It might be a little offensive. Let me see. And, uh, like, the, the game did it, so I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Okay. I don't know. I think it's okay. I don't know, actually. I'm kind of leaning toward it's not. So maybe I shouldn't put it on the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna err on the side of caution. If you if you want if if you want it, if the person who made it wants to link it in chat and you can decide for yourselves, it was the one about what are Suichi's and Kochiki's opinions on Chihiro Fujisaki. I'm gonna err on the side of probably too much caution just to be safe, okay? If, if someone wants to, to put that in, in, in chat and you can look at it, then, then go for it. Here's a different one though.
<laughs> no, that's wrong. How is that question offensive? I think it could be taken a little offensive. I think it's probably fine, but I, I'd rather not risk it. Sorry. The pickle Nagito memes are more offensive than the Chihiro joke. Like that's objectively wrong, man. Like, come on. I'm not saying that it's it's absolutely offensive, but I'm just saying, like, I would I would uh, I'd rather not not risk it. Sorry. Was there another one I missed? Pick. Oh no. What's all the What's all the pickle? What's all the pickles? Here you go. What's in the bottom right? What's that? Something that wasn't, wasn't, uh... That survived the, uh, the background being removed? There you go. It's, it's, it's the funny Tenko face on a pickle. It doesn't look the same without without the hair, does it? It's it is it's an expression that belongs to her, I guess. Okay, and that's it. So I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll do the investigation and the trial. That's that. See you later.